Sorry. I just really, uh, I just, I just can't bear to stream at that low quality, so I fixed it. Sorry. I, my bitrate was like, was like a quarter of what it's supposed to be. Sorry, so sorry. Can I just give myself attack boost over and over? <laughs> Cannot change character. That's dumb. Bah! Yeah, we're back. Refresh, refresh. Refresh stream, everyone. So sorry. They polish graphics for some things. You know, it does actually seem a little different, but I also have been playing on my phone, so my perception of the graphics is like lower than <laughs> prior. I love this community. Hi, everyone. Greater than. Greater than. Thank you, Hungry Hippo. Did you make the t yeah, our work for the t-shirt? No, that was made by um, Helia. Helia Bulk, I think is her, that's her like online name. Wow. Wow. Boom. Can't relate, I always been a mobile player. <laughs> it's not working for me. What? What's not working for you? Two Y for drops. Look at that damage. Okay, I can't be bothered. I'll probably do some of whatever this is and then. Oh, this is so cool that you can like that you can play old events if you didn't, if you like missed it. This is very cool. Genshin when, dude. <laughs> oh, I wish I could pick one event to rerun and I would pick the one where you got the, where you did the, 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 the chests and you got the, the, the fish claymore because I still am missing one freaking refinement for that. Event details. Complete the mission. Punk Lord mentality and story mode to receive all oh, right graffiti and arcade. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Fun. Even the cutscene replays for the story. That's so cool. Ah, oh, very cool. Okay, resin. How are we doing on resin? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm already resin, I mean. Whatever the frick it's called in this game. Trailblaze power. Yes, the text is Comic Sans. <laughs> save us, stay strong, we can do this. Signed, a Kafka save a pride pop. Yeah. We save. We resist. Not trying to bug you. But I think you maybe forgot about the video I shared. People I didn't forgore. I just didn't promise to show it. You know what I mean? Like I don't do media I share on my stream. I saw pictures of you wearing my flower necklace at Concord. <laughs> it makes me even happier that you chose to wear it to the Philippines. Oh. My family oh is yeah. From there and I haven't been back in eight years. I hope oh, enjoy cool. your time and can visit again soon. Oh yeah, I do. I do. I do want to visit again. I wore it like a couple days of the convention. You brought away the blanket? Let's go. Get yub. You know, prior to the convention, I, I don't want to say I was feeling lost, but I was just, I felt like my vision wasn't as clear for like, why I do what I do. Like what the what what I wanna what do I want to do for people who view Oh my gosh, the story is, is very sad. It's like Gilbert Gilbert storyline. He's like so 
obsessed with making his family proud and he doesn't understand that they just want to see him again. Um, but I was surprised by how many people said that they enjoyed my streams. Like, I thought more people were going to talk about my videos. But most people said, like, my streams are the things that they enjoy the most. So that was, like, really cool to hear and encouraging to, like, keep doing a good balance. Um... And also just like, I f it was cool to hear firsthand from people what they actually enjoy from my content the most. Um, so yeah, but all I have to say, I feel um, quite hopeful <laughs> and excited about the future of content creation, so. Yada, yada, yada. Comfort streamer. Also makes you want to stream in more Asia-friendly times. <laughs> I have a gift for you, Lila. Here you go. I chugged a monster for the stream. You're going for a very big sis of you. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad that my viewers see me that way. Hmm. <laughs> That's the passion I was driving. I didn't want to admit it. Really doesn't need to apologize to mommy for support his chump. Ah. This is so sad. The story is so sad. The kids and the mom just want him to be, like, fulfilled. And he thinks that he needs to be, like, super accomplished in his job to even, like, show his face to his family. But, like, if he could just let go of his pride, he could go home and they could be together. And his age is very hard to change who he is. We'll support him without unnecessary persuasion. Be understanding and considerate to each other even when separated. This is the meaning of family. What do you think about the new Twitch policy? Oh! <laughs> you reminded me. I almost forgot. Not good. <laughs> Not good. I really just hate the way Twitch is handling it as well. Uh, if you don't know... Twitch uh, shared a little policy change that basically means uh, they optimized some screens as well. This this is different. To basically disallow um, burn-in ads, which is basically like, you know when I did like HelloFresh streams and like I would have banners on top or when I've done... Um, like uh sponsors where i have a qr code on stream basically said we're not allowed to do that anymore and it has to be like basically ads have to be more discreet um like we have to use the chat function we have to use the um like the like the panels down below and we can't use anything on screen any logos on screen have to be less than three what is it? 3%? 3% of the screen? <laughs> Which overall, like, those policies are not necessarily bad. The problem is that they're... Like, th like Twitch has been operating that way for so long to allow burn-in ads that all that does is make it harder for streamers to get sponsorships outside of... Like, basically integrating with the Twitch platform. Um, yeah. It makes it harder for it to earn money on our own, basically. <laughs> so, it's just like, and the the way that their, like, response to it was like, oh, yeah, this has been our policy for a long time, and I'm sorry that we, like, we worded it weird, and um, we will rework the wording, and blah, 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 blah. And we're like... It doesn't honestly matter if this was in your wording, if this if this like policy was technically in your brand policy for a long time, because you have never exercised it. And like the Twitch ad system has been operating the same way with that stuff forever. And so to like change that abruptly, 
you're just like like i literally have a sponsor for diablo tomorrow i'm like um am i even allowed to do it properly like the way that it's been written in my contract <laughs> it's just gonna make brands not want to go through the hassle of working with twitch streamers because one of the benefits is they can show stuff on stream like that like i can i can show like diablo hair sign up here so i don't know i think i will be uh testing out a youtube stream not too long from now i think that sounds fun to me diablo is it immediately effective? No, I think it's, I think, I think they made it know that it would not be immediately effective. <laughs> is there a quest for this? There is a quest. Yes, I did get sponsored by Diablo. Actually, two different ways. Which I'm very excited about. Wait, no, that's not it. That's not, that's not the one I'm doing. Go. Punk Lord mentality. Oh no, this is it. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty silly if you ask me. Yeah. Just let us know when, you can, when you're switching platforms so you can sub membership there. <laughs> They didn't they backpedal? No, they like backpedaled the wording of it. Like they said that they would change the wording. We're like, um, the wording is not the problem. It's the policy that's the problem. Like say it however you want. <laughs> Changing policy is just you're just trying to like make it harder for streamers to operate outside of outside of like Twitch's integrated ads, which rates are always horrible, by the way. Twitch is such a silly goose. Yeah. They they don't want intrusive ads. Like they'll probably frame it as like they wanna they wanna improve the viewer experience. Um, but that doesn't like they they don't want us to put ads on our stream like that disrupt the stream. But then they'll ask us to run six minutes of ads to make any money. Like of interruption ads. We're like, so what is the truth? Hmm? My Genshin new idea is curse. It starts with 666. That is curse. You should start over. You should start a new account. Silly, silly. Surely Twitch will reconsider. <sighs> I think so. That's basically the only way changes ever happen is we just yell at Twitch. We, we yell and we scream. And that's like the only way that streamers' voices get heard. <laughs> It's crazy, like, I have a relationship with my YouTube partner manager. My YouTube partner manager is awesome. Like, like we've met in person, I've gone to the headquarters, of, like, multiple times. YouTube has, like, roundtable discussions with their creators, and it's, like, a super healthy relationship. Um, and t with Twitch, I have one parse point of contact, and she doesn't really help me that much, but... I still have to, like, if I have a problem, I still have to go through, like, the, the, like, support, like, ticket portal. And then I will get, like, a garbage response anyways. I'm like, man, I stream for Twitch, and, like, I could go to YouTube at any time. But they seem to not care enough to actually do anything about it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Match culpa! <laughs> Just tour those Twitch things! The CEO just interviewed last month, last weekend, and this was the opposite of what he said about the revenue part. What did he say? Yeah, basically, if I want to have like a sponsored, <laughs> if I want to have like a logo on my stream, I have to actually physically put it in my background. Like I have to get like a, like a big HyperX sign or something, <laughs> or a big Diablo sign. But God forbid I have it overlaid on the stream. Oh, not the overlay! My eyes! Hello. Hi. You know where my black light is? I didn't even know you had a black light. Little oh. flashlight. Oh. Black. No, I don't. 
Um, no, I don't know where it is. They want IRL logos. It's so archaic. Scroll LED message with logos. That's that's actually not a bad idea. If they really stick to it, I can like. I can get like a. Something under my. Yeah, I could put like LED that just shows the logos on rotation. But like, that only is good when I'm in this screen. But when I'm here, a little logo here, it's like, it's like 0.2% of the screen. What does Mr. Spro need a black light for? I think he uses it for his comics. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the lines look cleaner. They, I think they did polish the graphics a little bit because it looks really nice. Just a little bit. Yeah, I have to tattoo the sponsor on my forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to get, like, I'll just have to write it in Sharpie on, on my head. That's, what, that's, that's the future of Twitch. That's what they want. So silly. A second camera. <laughs> that's actually such a good idea. <laughs> that would be such a funny troll if I, like... Okay. So technically, technically, if only overlays are limited to 3% of the screen, then I can do, if I get a second camera <laughs> and I write the logos on a piece of paper and I just have that camera on in the corner, I can make it as big as I want and they can't do anything about it. Loophole. <laughs> Trolled the system. Although I would not be shocked if Twitch just like got mad and perma banned me for doing that. So maybe, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should push the boundary. And if I get banned, I could just take a vacation. Oh, I'll stream on YouTube. Ban me, Twitch. Do it. I dare you. It's an elf. I forgot to switch to English. Sorry. You look busy. Sorry, I didn't see you in the hotel. I was trying to deal with some things before I got to the hotel. I was trying to deal with some things before I got to the hotel. I was trying to deal with some things before I got to the hotel. I was trying to deal with some things before I got to the hotel. You made some fried rice. Oh, fried rice sounds good. What does banned mean? No stream for a month? Uh, it varies. I think most people get banned for like three days or get like suspended. Usually it's somewhere in between three days and like two weeks. Yesterday was my birthday, on the 6th of June, kinda cursed. Happy but birthday! I got myself an iPad and now I can start my own drawing <gasps> adventure. Hope you oh gosh, all enjoy 1.1. Have fun, Tom. Best of luck to you. <sighs> draw lots, draw every day. Don't worry about it. Esta小姐说,道谢一定要真诚。Rabble 2 says happy Pride Month. Much love to my trans besties less than three. Tiaesta小姐说,这位客人似乎是黑塔女士的学术伙伴。能和她往来,那一定是银河中响当当的人物了。Man, my ear, I've, I've come to enjoy the sound of Chinese so much more. This is Mandarin, right? I've come to appreciate its beauty. I didn't know he had a ponytail. Oh, he did. He does. He's got the, uh, got the George Washington. English. What? Uh, is there a reason, as a watcher, that I haven't seen much YouTube live, but there are other reasons streamers that 
as a streamer that most people prefer Twitch? Ah, oh, that's a good question. I honestly think it's like very much. It's like lesser the two evils. <laughs> I don't think I think YouTube has a lot of good like potential and a lot of things that it does better than Twitch. Um, but I think they're behind on some like technical stuff. Oops, sorry. They're yeah, I think they're behind on a lot of stuff. Um, their moderation is kind of weird. I think YouTube Live doesn't have much of its own identity and personalization that Twitch has. Um, like I like when you're on my Twitch page, all the only thing you can really do on Twitch is watch live streams, which like is a negative and a positive. I think Twitch is just like more comfortable and more. It's just at the top because it's at the top, I think. YouTube is much harder to navigate. Um, but I think, yeah, YouTube has just moved kind of slow to like make easier change, like easy changes that we all want to see. <laughs> I don't know why they take so long. Um, it's just familiar. Could it be to not be that competitive? Yeah, live streaming isn't YouTube's priority. It should be, but it's not. I mean, there are people who are dedicated to it and like YouTube has been trying to recruit me to stream on YouTube. Um, but I just, I wonder how dedicated YouTube is to like creating a good streaming experience because it's taken so long to roll out like really simple changes, which seems weird. I, I don't think YouTube streams have a lot of like, they're like, it's like hard to get to. The navigation is like not easy. Um, they don't have their own like little cozy section of YouTube, you know? The chat is a big, big change. Do you recommend streaming on Twitch more than YouTube? Um. As for the way things are going right now, I would say YouTube probably has more longevity. <laughs> YouTube, and I think it is the future to have like all of your, to have like a hub where you can watch all sorts of different types of content from one person, like shorts and long form and VODs and streams. So probably I would recommend YouTube. Wow, Oops. It's the first time I've seen such a spectacle. So this visitor is... <clears throat> Get ready. Hypothesis. Thought always precedes mm. word. Hey, uh? And yet, I can't find the words for this moment. It's good to see you, Asta. I apologize. I'm four minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. What an entrance. I'll, I'll hear you out. I'll hear you out. I will be hearing you out. On this one. <clears throat> of course not, Mr. Skrullum. Welcome to Herta Space Station. I'm listening. So is this a safe place? <laughs> no need for formalities, Asta. Herta Space Station Generally, is where knowledge yeah. converges. Here we celebrate the equality of thought. Can I express myself here? Equality of thought. Hey, I like that. Such collaboration between organic life forms yeah. is magnificent and efficient. You're rebuilding the space station far quicker than I could have imagined. We yes, and no. I praise Mr. Skrullum. Would you like me to show you around? Since the last summit, we've launched several new research projects focused on silicone-based matrices. Well, that sounds lovely, but I do have a meeting with Herta, so let's put the new surprises on hold for now. I love his design, holy. Madam Herta should be in her office. I'll take you there, right this way. Sure. Like, he obviously has a personality, because why else would a robot be so uh, dripped out like that? Hmm? 
<laughs> and you are? Pandera. Ah, hello, young madam. I've heard so much about you. Herta talks about you often. Young madam. She's quite curious about you. Young madam. As am I. What is it like to live in symbiosis with a Stellaron? I hope we'll have sufficient time in the future to get to know each other and answer this question. Me too. Bye bye. Sorry, I wanted to show you around, but now I don't think I'll be able to get away. It's okay. Faceless Ayata has been right. reincarnated. See you later. What if he likes Boba? <laughs> that portrait of her is so pretty. Yaho. Are you okay? Lean up. What was that? What was that? Just like a little a little starlight went up there. I must go wash my face and get ready for bed. You get you do that. Oh, strange. It should be around here somewhere. Uh, maybe it's hidden inside Madame Herta's portrait. Huh? Uh, do you need something? If you're looking for the front desk, just go straight through those doors. What are you doing? She looks so pretty. Oh, another fan of Madame Herta's? Well, I'm afraid this portrait's being taken down soon. What? Wait a second. I know you. I saw you chatting with Captain Arlen just now. You must be the rising star who caught Madame Herta's attention. Allow me to introduce myself. I guess. I'm Leonard, a cybersecurity engineer. Oh, Leonard, here at the space not Station. Leonard. You probably know that this place <laughs> was recently attacked by the Antimatter Legion. In the chaos, the master control system for each zone was paralyzed. Now that the station is being rebuilt, my job is to repair equipment and restore the space station's cybersecurity. That's a big job, sir. But during the repair process, I discovered some anomalies. The access records show that a third party other than the Legion invaded while the master control system was paralyzed. Still around hunters. Mm, some have surmised the same as you. We suspect that it may have been the Stellaron Hunters. It's an elusive group and very dangerous. Every member is on the IPC's wanted list. They include a super hacker from Punk Lord. I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost to her once before. <coughs> You're an NPC, it's okay. Oh, I missed a head pad. Skyline, are you still here? A while ago, I discovered her whereabouts during a screening process. I was planning to follow the clues to find more <laughs> details about her, but... I fell into her trap. Can you guess what happened next? She reverse hacked my device, sent out a bunch of spam, made a video <laughs> into the space station, and told everyone that an idiot named Leonard made a big silly mistake. Ugh, I don't want to think about it. Now that everything is calmed down, I thought they'd be on my case already. The silver lining? Madame Herta was generous enough to allow me to continue wow. investigating this matter. That sucks for him. Congratulations. Normally she doesn't want to deal with it. She's getting revenge on you? No, congrats. Yeah, it was pretty unexpected. Don't rain on this man's parade. Space affairs are usually handled by lead researcher Asta. This is the first time I've seen Madame Herta give orders in person. To put it simply, the leaders have given me an opportunity. How could I not cherish it? If I can make up for my mistakes and do a good job, I may have a chance to prove myself. This time, I plan to start from inside <laughs> the space station and see if I can find some clues to trace the intruder's steps. Maybe I can find the blind spot I missed before. I designed a decoding program. Look, it looks like a camera, but it's actually a detector. What? You be able to find hidden clues with it. Just like this. Well, wow. amazing. What? Oh, uh, Ew. Uh, uh, that's uh, um, a drop of sweat. Oh, really? Well, why is there a drop of sweat? Ew. Unbelievable! Why would something like this be in the space station? The staff wouldn't even dare scribble on the wall, let alone leave 
a drop of sweat. So this is what we're looking for? This suspicious evidence? <sighs> it wasn't what I was expecting, but... Why is this dude stressing over not being able to beat Silverwolf? Dude, she's like... She's a playable character. She's known for being like a Giga Chad. Unbeatable. Uh, hacker. Don't- you're just an NPC. Don't- don't- Don't take it too hard. Wait a second? Uh, let me take it's a look. It's okay. No one's expecting much of you, Leonard. Oh, oh, I see. This is electronic graffiti that appears to represent Punk Lordian symbols. Punk Lordian. If I'm not mistaken, this should be some kind of automatic encryption. We need to decipher it if we want to find any culpatory evidence. Ugh, you got me there. <laughs> I got caught up in our conversation. I wasn't paying attention. Ugh, let me think. Uh, maybe I've been under too much stress recently and I subconsciously want to bend. <laughs> anyway, if I were to find clues related to the Stellaron Hunters, wouldn't that be helpful to you to- uh, Just do me a favor. Uh, it won't take up too much of your time. Whoa. Yeah, just point it at the graffiti on the wall. You need to take a nap or something. You take a nap. Now I'm gonna put it on the wall right in front of you. Next slide. Something inside seems to break breaking out of it. Uh ah! why are there void rangers here? It's all good, don't worry. Time. Show no mercy. Good night. Oh, that, that scared me to death. He's gonna Did cry. You see that? I feel bad for him. It seemed like something popped up here, then Void Rangers jumped out. Are you gonna do you and me as quest on stream? Yes, I will. Definitely will. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That scared me to death. But look, no. just like I guessed, this graffiti is encrypted. If we decipher <gasps> it, we can see some hidden information. Does he not see her right the there? The surveillance camera captured her face. Oh. Silver Wolf. Wolf. It's exactly the same <laughs> as the photo on the IPC's wanted list. Silver Let Wolf. Let me see what she was up to. Is this a transmitter beacon? Oh, I see. She probably ran into the Antimatter Legion during the invasion, then used this beacon to teleport the enemies somewhere else. We accidentally activated the beacon again just now, and they were brought back. Jeez! Jeez Stellaron Louise. Hunters have the ability to stow enemies away like that? Beacon transmission that doesn't require a power source and can be implemented <laughs> solely through computation? No wonder they were able to break into the space station. With this, I'm afraid not even Madame Herta's office is safe. Good job, Leonard. Good, good, um... Good, uh, good, good critical thinking. Well, I don't share your optimism. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, I'd probably be lying on the ground right now. Anyway, let's work together. You'll be dead. <laughs> There's a strange signal nearby. Maybe it's another piece of graffiti. Are there new drops, guys? Are there new, uh, new, new Star Rail drops? Yep. <gasps> I could have been farming views this whole time. Come, come one, come all. Uh, those who are just seeking out. Uh. Sorry, I still am a bit, I still have a bit of indigestion from this last weekend come one come all those who wish to uh receive drops these are so interesting the like out of body experiences i feel like star rail's strong suit is really just in the details it's like one of those games that really rewards you for looking closer at everything
What on earth? What on earth? Uh, 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 uh. Creepy. Fifteen days. Look, look What's there. fifteen days? They even no. put down a question mark. Not the they question must mark. Be fun of us. No. <laughs> she went towards. She the making base fun zone. of me. I'm faster than you. Uh, disappeared again. This <laughs> thing keeps cutting out when I'm deciphering it. Peter. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. <laughs> she makes it seem easy. Is she really looking at the Curio Collection Index? Maybe in a simulated universe? Not yet. Not not this patch. Judging by how calm she is, she must have been in this room for a while. Maybe she was waiting for <gasps> someone. I'm not sure what happened after that. Let's search somewhere else. Okay. Dot dot dot. Wow. I think it's a Banksy. Your fake ID info is ready. Ah, so that's what happened. She sneaked in first, then helped her partner in through the main door. It's a classic hacking operation. <laughs> classic. See, the registered name is Leonard Colliwell. Colliwell. <gasps> I know, you were sus from the beginning! You were the imposter among us? <sighs> It'll never end! It'll never end! Among us is a defining moment of- defining joke of our generation. Wow! It's even capitalized! Among Us, canon in Star Rail. Sus. <laughs> this game is like simultaneously really dark and serious and just completely unserious. I love it, honestly. I knew you were sus from the beginning. She, she used my identity. Yeah, you got, you got identity thefted. I, I never noticed that there was an issue with this record. I subconsciously glanced right past it when I saw my own name. She's so cunning. She's a sneaky one. Maybe you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. <sighs> yep. 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 I, I, I don't even know what to say. It's an honest mistake! <laughs> the reaction of any ordinary person is to check for unfamiliar oh, names, right? Leonard. <laughs> Who would think to check their own Pace name? yourself before you erase yourself! <laughs> That's so pretty. Uh, Honkai does not give a single crap about... Like... Like... Pop culture references, or it's just all a part of it. Quite interesting. It feels like she's playing a <laughs> Among game us. us. One dot leads to another. <gasps> it's really fun. From a friend that the hackers on Punk Lord have a tradition. When they hack, they purposely leave something behind for people to discover. Kind of like throwing down the gauntlet. They call this the Punk Lord mentality. <laughs> there can only be competition when there is rivalry. And there can only be excitement when there is competition. Life's True. a game and having fun is what's most important. I don't understand that way of thinking. <laughs> but it seems like this graffiti I don't get it. might have been left behind for us on purpose as a clue. The same thing happened last time as well. I was so close to the target but got obliterated in the final battle of information. So close yet so far. <sighs> Doesn't help to dwell on past failures. 
It's more important to do your best with the things in front of you. Ah, she seems to be leaving. Let's keep up. Okay. That's why I love Star. I wish G Genshin was a little bit more unserious. They yeah. They seem to be heading toward the monitoring room. I feel like, uh... Oh, hold on. Dishba, I miss you. Um... Yeah, Genshin seems to kind of uphold its serious nature a little bit more than... A little bit more than Star... <gasps> Yo-ho! I will get you! Welcome, customers. <laughs> There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder! Show no mercy! <laughs> Naughty child. <laughs> Lance ablaze! Lance forward! Gimme Jade! <laughs> Gimme my Jade. Yeah! 60! Yeah. Trotter. Oh, silly, silly game. I've seen a Trotter before. And I feel like Ito was the first one that, like, really brought an unserious vibe to the to the game uh, another graffiti they're all different too is this really my first she time really in here put some thought into this hi Horta. oh this one's cool huh is this section of the record damaged she went through the wall and disappeared she altered records? That's highly unlikely. But if it's true, everything we've seen till now could be a fake. Ito very silly. Hold on, I got it. It might be an effect from a curio. There was a pre-established uh. folded space here <coughs> and the intruders found it and took advantage of it. No wonder she kept going through the curio collection index. This space is connected to the Stellaron room. Do you still remember it? That's where they put the Stellaron inside you. Oh, I remember. Kafka. <laughs> mom. About? My mom. She loved me. Why would they leave you here? Man, mommy issues. The Stellaron. With her capabilities, all she would have needed to do was make another beacon. She would have been able to escape with the Stellaron, no problem. Mother. Oh, yeah, there's huh? Chan in 1.1. There's no graffiti here. Oh, we're doomed. The trail has gone cold. Ugh, so strange. Did she really leave just like that? She came all this way and didn't take anything with her, nor leave anything behind. Oh, um, they did leave you behind. <clears throat> Sorry, that sounded better in my head. It must have been a terrible feeling waking up in a place that was completely yeah, was. unfamiliar to you. It's all right. Sounds like you've experienced it yourself. Oh, me? And that's how I feel when I wake up every day. <laughs> I can't help oh but my feel gosh. there's more that they're after. <sighs> Dude, you need some friends. I really hope I can find something that's useful to you. <sighs> the more I talk about it, the worse I feel. I should probably find something that I can do. Hmm. There's a rating pistol <laughs> here. I wonder what my rating would be. You need to join like a club or something. Oh, look here. Get a hobby. There's a strange access log in the raiding pistols compartment. It looks like the log time occurred during the Legion's invasion. That's a cool gun. The researchers would have already been evacuated by then. Could it have been her? Your mom. In which case, she didn't leave immediately. She implanted the Stellaron inside you and then fiddled around with the raiding pistol for a while. Could it be that? I just realized something. We need to go to the curio collection room on the other side. Okay. Yes, there's chat available 1.1. That's so true. So true. How do you do it? Chat. Oh, not yet? 
Thought it was 1.2. Ah, fine. Dang it. Whoa. You're back where the story started. In a trance, your thoughts begin to whirl. You remember faces and names that you passed by, gradually disappearing as you journey as you journey together. You remember the choices you made and how you still have no <laughs> Mike, thank you for the raid. Welcome guys. Bed cheese. I love cheese. I do like a little bit of cheese before bed. I should get think of a 16 months. Sorry I'm late on that. Welcome guys. It's time to embark on a new journey. You are confident you will find the answers to all your questions in the not too distant future. You are? Oh. Ah, is there anything from Genshin in here? Joy filtration set? Portable voice inside the cube can be used to identify and collect joyous emotions. Every living being should own a complete joy filtration set. One can never have too much joy. Yeah, for sure. I'm trying to see if there's anything from Genshin in here. Totally eclipse of the heart. A warning notice affixed next to it reads, do not activate this without written permission of the space station. Oh, so sorry. Archival information not yet available. Oh. Anything else? A shell. Conch. Crack up conch. The conch makes a strange sound. It's unlike laughter, but it's nevertheless quite humorous. <laughs> As the actor effects of Legion invasion has not yet been completed, not all carriers of the space station are displayed here. You carefully count the cubes that are stored in the portable device and find there are 21 in total. You count a few more times, but end up with a different figure each time. What? Huh. It was so cool seeing the... The conch. I died when I found out it was pronounced conch. It can be. It depends on your, um... Ting Yoon, 13 points. Wait. I want to hear the ratings. Rating invalid. Facing things on height. The close eye of the weird gun suddenly snaps around. Staying with malice. 84 points. Natasha, 32 points. You think this score is kind of weird. Dang, Ting Yoon kind of... Kind of got demolished. 13 points for Ting Yoon. But I got 84 points, so... You know. I'm just better, just than, I guess. I thought, she was here. Shattered curio with particles floating around the crack or fracks on stable light. Reminds you of some kind of ancient cotho cathode array tube device. And this mysterious rule that everyone somehow knows. It's not working. Try hitting it. You feel the light emitted by the strange object is more dazzling than before. Tap it a few more times. Nothing seems to happen. You decide to tap it again. The previously dim curio shines bright, and you throw your hands up to shield your eyes. Several seconds, you open your eyes, but the cracks have disappeared. After checking that you're not hallucinating, you decide to tell Asta about this. The back end detected a weird quantum fluxion right now. You're right beside it at the time. What happened? I fixed a curio. I can't believe it either. The back end something system doesn't does show it's been fixed. It's activated, giving us any energy reading. Could it be your hand was blessed by the Aeon? Kidding. I've sent a reward, check it out. <gasps> Two! Wah. 
Wow, thank you. Thank you. And you get coins. You fix it. It's cool. T.Y. Lumine is around 5'1". Stell is about 5'7". <gasps> With it like the same height. Well, I'm like one inch taller, but... Can I fix something else? This is so cool. I think I've read all these ones. Hey. Ah, so cute. I just remembered that Madame Herta has a game cartridge named Try Hunt. March. Oh, oops. You remember it, right? I go back. It's actually on the list of missing curios. Oh, hey, what's that? The ice thing? I wasn't able to put the two together before. I wonder if, if that's related has to a um... personal objective other than the Stellaron Hunter's mission. What's it? What's her name? The Sarita. That kind of reminds me of the Fatui. The, the, the crown in the back? It does kind of also look like Kirby, and that's true. <laughs> uh, I got it. I got it now. The Stellaron Hunter's operation was just a cover for her. We'll read it in a second. Feels like you got it backwards. Look, in the end, they didn't take the Stellaron with them. She was so interested in the Curio Collection Index that she stayed in the space station even after her mission was complete. This was what she was truly after. She knew we would be looking for the Stellaron Hunters and used it as her cover. Very smart. Could to be, be expected of someone from Punk Lord. Hold on, though. Something doesn't add up. The Curios are Madame Herta's most prized possessions. All the visit requests are sent to her office from the computer in the main control room. What? No way. Some researchers tried to gain access to the Curios for research purposes once, but they didn't get proper authorization. She caught them all red-handed. Baba, Baba. Sorry, one second. I have a bad feeling about this. Me too. The fact Madame Herta hasn't responded to this can only mean one thing. That the main control room was hacked as well. We need to go and take a look. All right, what are you? Unbearable weight. Is the crown of the Totanid... Fam, thank you for the raid! Sarita is Kirby. <laughs> 411 Ray, welcome guys. Yahoo. How was your summons for uh Silver Wolf? Did it go well? Was it Poggers? Did you swipe a lot? I wish you could have you and Lily could have uh, come with us to conquest. It would have been so fun. Pretty good. Minus 1k. No, truly? How are you not tired? I am. I'm kind of tired, but at the same time, I slept uh, collectively like 15 hours yesterday, so I feel more groggy than. Anything. 1.5, actually. Wait, did you see six? Did you see six? Or what is it? Not C6, what was it called? E E5? You maxed her? Not her weapon though, right? You didn't max her weapon. Say you didn't max her weapon. Hey, it's me, Fob! <laughs> oh. With that money, you could have come with us to the Philippines. With that money, you could have you could have completely rebranded. And made yourself brand friendly so that you could come with us to conquest. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? <sighs> what do you think about. I have a theory. What do you think about this crown potentially being uh, related to the Sarita? She's OP. I'm sure she would have been OP at, at A1. Or as A0. But congrats, I guess. What do you think? Possible? I'm just writing down. 
Tautinid family? You try on the crown and you feel as though your head has grown several times bigger. The crown is far too heavily. Looks like knowledge is pretty dense. Anything else? Come on. No repeat. No, no. It's different dialogue. Come Dang it. I mean, it is right next to... What's that? Uh, move still! Take a picture. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What's on these? A clock? And... Those are the weights. Of the, like, the... Good moral thingy. There is another Genshin reference, like, literally, like, there's this. Why am I so zoomed in? And then there's the wings right across from it, so it's not, like, super far-fetched that it could also be related to Genshin? It's from Tears of Themis. This one? Or this one? Let's walk as Glossinura. Oh, wait. Let's ask at her grave and see if a uh, premonition comes upon us. Oh, the cards. I'm just saying. This is right across from the Traveler's Wing, so, you know. Take note. What if it is? What's this? Energy black hole? Suspiciously oily sheen over the metal casing seems like... The part about food in the curio introductions was added recently. I'm doing the I'm doing the silver wolf quest right now. We're we're chilling. I'm still pretty like um brain dead from conquest, so taking it easy. Just people sit and react to quests and not summoning because Will of Preservation. Because I yeah 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 too fast. I have like no energy. <laughs> I always forget to use my ult first. F2P! I'm also F2P. So really, uh, really... Delicate operation. Really significant change of pace. From Mr. Fub. Bum, 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 bum. Leonard, our stressed, overachieving perfectionist. I hope he gets Wait, some. Don't move. He learns to manage his oh, expectations I get someday. Just looking at the space station monitors now. Let me investigate first. What if Evil Dish comes out? I she won't. I'm actually like very, very committed to it. Just perfect. Not only did she shut off all the access logs, she shut off all the terminal transmissions too. I thought it was the Legion that did this. I barely have enough wishes for Lolcha, so I really need to save. Let's focus on the main task first. I am curious, though. Evil she dish, no. She the terminal transmissions, but didn't touch the local data at all. I really don't get her. As a Stellaron hunter, she leaves the Stellaron behind. As a hacker, she doesn't delete the local log. It's a trap! Hmm. Surely. There's an external port here. I'm gonna plug in and take a look. I'm in my girl rest era. How many wishes do you have? I think I have 78 or something like that. I'll have a bad feeling about this. Relax, friend. I've done this a million times. Look at this agreement. <laughs> oh, silly. Silly Leonard. Did I miss conquest stories? No. <laughs> I have not, uh, I've not had the privilege to share yet, but I'm, I'm still kind of, my thoughts are still kind of stewing from Conflict is the weekend. Lance I'm the like ready. too sleepy, too sleep to talk about it. I'm also saving my, my, my materials for my blog. I'm going to do like a, probably going to do like a voiceover style. Because it didn't. <laughs> I was so busy that I like barely filmed. Literally every night we had like, we were like, oh, let's go out and like, let's get some dinner together and we'll like go get some like cool, good, like good Filipino food. We'll walk around the mall. Bide your time, but don't waste it. 
a chill, chill. Except one night we did go see uh, Across the Spider-Verse, but every other night, we literally like, once we got done with our events, we crashed, we like fell asleep, we woke up, we ordered dinner, we ate dinner, and then we fell back to sleep. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that should tell you how, how little extra time to like, talk about. I didn't even have time to like, talk about. I didn't even have time to like, think about what Conquest was like. They always aim at Tingu! Stop! See? I was right. There was something fishy yeah. about the local data she left behind. I'll probably make it similar style to like my anime exo vlog where there's kind of like a narrative through it. It'll be a bit more of a project, but I'm really excited to start working on it. Now we can browse through the curio access logs. Huh? That can't be right. And the guy that almost forgot to pay because I was too nervous. The space station. <laughs> I don't even remember, so I don't remember that part. Hmm. I'm glad you got merch. Look, yes. The records show that this curio was last sent to Madam Herta's office, and then it disappeared. Yeah, my vlog. Hopefully, what I want to do with it is bring you guys into like experience. I want to give you guys like a very well-rounded like personal perspective of what it was like. Like not just show you what happened, but tell you how it felt emotionally and like, yeah. Give it a more like artistic spin than some other vlogs I've done maybe. I'm seriously confused. What did she come here for? She wouldn't have put the graffiti up just to mess with us, would she? Maybe she would. <sighs> no, if I start thinking She's like kind that, of silly well like that. Now. I have to fully investigate every lead, or I'll really be out of a job. I bet she did do it just for fun. Wow, that sounded satisfying. View unlocked graffitis. Yeah, fun. Collect all graffitis to receive the light cone. This is so fun. Genshin does not mess around with, like, sound design and stuff. And by that, I mean they do an awesome job. Oops. Okay. Cool. Access screening. Base zone. Did you say blade in the light cone? No. Oh, Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> Hoyverse. Hoyverse, Hoyverse. Aha. Go to her. Wait. Maybe I'm silly because I missed something. Start graffiti. Open camera and switch to graffiti mode. Okay. Huh? Uh. Uh. Oh no! Yeah! Huh? Wait, that's it, I'm done. Okay, now what? What is this ping? What are you pinging me for? Hmm? Am I dumb? Oh. Okay. <laughs> hidden codes. Okay. Locate the hidden graffiti in the blue areas. Aha! Gotcha. Oh, sorry. So sorry. Hmm. Wow, so hidden. That's so cute. That's so cute. Hacking, hacking, heckling call card. 
Are you still in the mood to read a book? <laughs> Are you seriously still reading that book? Um Where's the other one? I'm missing one, I think. Got this one, got this one, and one in the very corner. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Mel, thank you for the raid! Oh no, I did get this one. It's this other one. Thank you, guys! Hello! Are you back home? We need to hang out soon. Welcome, raiders! Melon raid. That's my sister, guys. That's my sissy. Wait, hold on. I got this one. I got this one. And I'm still missing. This one. Maybe it's on the stairs or something. Ugh. Or maybe... So sorry. Maybe it's not even in here. Oh! Oh, no. Whatever, I don't want to talk about it. There it is. <laughs> wow, so generous. Honestly. Twisty little bubblegum. Tasty and cheap punk lord snack can be used to superimpose the light cone. Oh, okay, I'll save up for that. Oh my gosh, it's like bubblegum. Like the, the the bubble tape. Dude, I was a freaking fiend for this bubble tape. I still am, honestly. Like I would I would eat. I would chew it up so fast and I would always save the last little bit and eat it all together. Gosh, what did they put in that? It was so freaking yummy. Okay. Bubble tape. It's like pink bubble gum. Follow the signs to find photo subjects and interact with them for corresponding rewards. Okay, sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I have 50. Locked. Oh. Fine, I'll take that. HSR being eighth to be friendly. They do seem much more generous than Genshin even. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Pretty generous. Genshin. Take notes. Your stream views are way down right now. Okay, vending machine. TP. Happy robot. Easy. There's a vending machine. Well, there's one of the vending machines. Actually, maybe I got it wrong. Two years, let's go in this love. Thank you for the two years, Rekus. Oh, love, Mike. Bye bye. Way more gen- Oh my gosh. People come and go in the space station, but researchers are oblivious to the presence of the chest. Could it be that no one else sees it? You can't help but ponder. And primal impulse begins to course through you. You're about to open the chest, when suddenly a reprimand rings in your ears. Why are you rummaging through other people's things? All right, all right. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Very meta. Hey, photo time. He's so cute. I love these robots. I hope I, I hope there are plushies in these. They got me. That was way too meta of them. 
Um. No. No. Take photo. I wonder why Genshin has an op hasn't added like makeup events. Maybe this was the right one. No, it's not. Move it, Peppy. Or maybe it. Like yeah, access to last of like previous events is so nice. Maybe they really want to hold on to like the FOMO component of like you gotta play now or you're never gonna like this is your only chance to get this reward and if you don't do it you like you miss out why are there so many advertising thingies on this level this is excessive maybe i feel like i'm maybe out of the area like the range area at this point You just missed it? Oh. See what's crazy? Is that with the latency? I don't even know how long ago it was. I'll come back for that. I swear I didn't see it even pop up. No. <sighs> Hydration check. You know what? So true. Oh. Aha. Whoa. Do it again. Wah. That's cool. Picture. Need to complete target search? Oh. Okay. Time. Okay, nice. Sealed sector. Okay, complete mission. Volume two. It's kind of nice that it's sparsed out like that. Instead of like time gated, it's like you can kind of play at your own pace. Are you sure that it's water in that big jar? <laughs> Never know. Maybe I'm just really good at hiding my grimaces. What alcohols are clear like this? Just vodka and like some tequila. I can never, I have zero appreciation for drinking alcohol as is. Like, I gotta have... I, I like fruity drinks, and I am not ashamed of it. Because... <gasps> everyone, shut up! I'll say it again. I don't care what Run may said to you, but there's no chance we're shutting down this simulated universe. Mitch! Perta, I've made my decision. Question. What have we invested into this project? Hundreds of system hours, the resources of an entire planet, and the most advanced technology in the entire universe. And what have we gotten in return? Unknowns, confusion, and a series of errors. And so, Jade? In the beginning, we defined the simulated universe as a miniature world that could be used to discover the traces of the eons. But now, it's become something far removed from its original purpose. Screw them, no. The simulated universe is bound to make errors. You said that yourself, and that's exactly what we're experiencing. Why is that a problem uh, all of a sudden? Closing simulated use universe? Never mind. Relationship ended with Skrullum. Hertha is my best friend. I adore the vast amount of knowledge, but I cannot accept that the simulated universe remains simply a pending contract waiting to be attended to. You are not taking those rewards from me. Hertha, think about it. How many surprises has this project given you? And how many disappointments has it given you? The simulated universe never disappointed me. You are what disappoints <gasps> me. 
screw them. Dang. Do you really think of yourself as someone so exceptionally amazing? <laughs> right now, you're more like, uh, like, like someone from the Nitwit Society. <laughs> <sighs> Herta, I don't mean to question you. Nor do I want to deny the hard work you've put forth for the simulated universe. Aren't errors also like part of research? I just Still want to data. give more room for knowledge and inspiration to grow freely. That's enough. <laughs> Leave if you don't want to be part of this. Go tell the other two yourself. Oh, and take your tech with you. I don't need it. Dang. I can go find Adrian Taylor or the red-nosed old man from Epsilon. Or even the Intelligentsia Guild. At least they won't quit halfway. <gasps> She's so little. Screw them. We've known each other for a long time. This is the first time I feel that you're nothing but a piece of ice cold metal. <gasps> Dang! Yeah, that's pretty rude, but like also, I want to keep simulating. Watch this, screw him. I'm gonna do simulated universe right in front of you. Bye. <laughs> oh, event. What? What? Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is music to my ears. Oh my gosh, this is so much jade. They're goats for this. 20 for each. You get in there, guys. 30, 38 times 20, how much is that? Is it really? Is it 600? 65. They really just said, hey, we're adding another menu item and you're going to get 20 jade for each entry. 720! Uh, 760! That's so nice. Very thoughtful of you. What? I love Star Rail. 84. Oh my gosh. So I think... I think I'm at 10 pity maybe? 5. Oh. 11. Matt. Or 12. 12 pity. So I have enough to get another 5 star. But not necessarily enough to guarantee Locha, so at 21 days to save up. It's very serious. Did you ever get the monthly reset wishes? Yes. Yes, I saved up all the warps. Yeah. I wish for Jingyan and then I think I think I caved and I got I got the gotcha itch, so I wished till my next four star and then I stopped. Cuz I wanted to try to get I wanted to get another Ting Yun, Ting Yun, uh, E, but I did not. I got a weapon. <laughs> My apologies. <sighs> I did not pull Zila, no. Or Sila. Zila? Never expected to see that kind of expression on her face. This all started with me. I was the one that brought up the request to end our academic collaboration. Well, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Herta or the project. The simulated universe is a great experiment, and Herta is a true genius. However, we have our differences when it comes down to our long-term vision for the future. Mm. These differences will often manifest into bias, mm. and bias will get in the way of the formulation of knowledge. Yeah, but you're trying to get away in the way of my rewards, so Deep down, <laughs> that's not going to work. I want to continue to believe in Herta. Out. The question is whether one should end a collaboration that no longer holds true to its original intent. From an objective standpoint, I should end it immediately. Are you worried about her mental state? 
No, I'm worried about my rewards. A little. And judging by the result, I have failed to choose the most suitable time to raise this matter. The emotions of organic life are like tides. It is my fault for not noticing the trajectory of the moon. <laughs> Let her <Herta laughs> be alone for a while so she can calm her emotions. Wow. It will be beneficial for our negotiations later as well. That's so such a poetic line. Emotions of organic life are like tides. It is my my fault for not noticing the trajectory of the moon. As for the simulated wow. universe, if that's the reason you're here, maybe I can help uh. in answering your questions. Now, cheat cats, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, guys. Such an understanding robot. Yeah. Hello. Hi, everyone. Oh, that's such a cute emote. Dang, I need to I need to commission more animated emotes because I have a few, but I have space for more. Welcome, guys. Hope you had a nice stream. Hello, gamers. Hello, Mario. I am playing through. If you are familiar with HSR. Um, I'm playing through the Herta, Herta, nope, nope, through the event quest for Miss Silverwolf. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, Murdy, Murdy emote is the next thing I need to do. Murdy emote would be so easy. And I just don't, I just haven't done it. Total play dish, what's that? What's total play? And why are you saying it's better than dish, huh? That's kind of disrespectful. Sounds kind of disrespectful. This is apparently Silver West Story Quest too. Yeah, it seems like it. With the like the star. Doesn't it, doesn't the star mean mean story quest? Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Dish respectful. <laughs> Yeah, I was just I just got back from conquest in the Philippines, so I'm still kinda EB. Very tired. I probably not gonna stream for much longer. My brain is kinda fried, but Yeah. And she kinda is a Spanish speaking streamer who lives in Korea. But talks to you like oh, that's very kind. Well, thank you for writing. Thanks for coming by. Hmm. Search. Bonfire Bonfire wants to take away of the woods. our simulated Alone universe. stone sword points to the stars. Punk Lord mentality. That is no ordinary curio, my friend. That is a love letter a galaxy ranger has written for the universe. Young madam, how much do you know about Punk Lord? See, he can't just be like a... You know, he's not like other robots, because, like, not, no other, no, like, emotionless robot would dress with this much pizzazz, you know? Like, a simple, like, emotionless robot would most definitely not wear a little thigh strap. A monocle? A monocle for a robot? Why does a robot need a monocle? That's, yeah, that's, that can't be for anything but aesthetic. White pants with no oil stains. <laughs> yeah, he's got those permanent pressed. With the, with the little bowl tie. His forehead has drip too. And he does have emotions. We know that because he cares for Clara. I'm just saying, he's got drip and he's got personality. And he speaks poetically. He's not like, he's not just an android, you know? He's, he's, uh, he's, uh, what's the word? Artificial intelligence. I, I have to say it out loud because AI, the term AI just makes me nauseous now. Hashtag AI, hashtag stable diffusion, hashtag AIR, hashtag, um, tech bro, hashtag, um, what's it called? So what's the new phrase that's going around? Something fill? Content aware fill? Something like that? 
screw them kind of oh no you i'm with you i will hear you out kaidi i'm listening i've heard of it i don't know much nobody i mean nobody knows more about punk lord than i do <laughs> Nah, I'm not gonna lie to, to Mr. Scrollum. It is a planet made of data and symbols. The edges of reality and illusion are blurred in Punk Lord, as are its days and nights. An ether it's a place? is a chip that Punk Lordian hackers use to edit reality. Oh. The ways through which a hacker perceives and modifies the world are recorded on the chip. It's a recording of the hacker's life and proof of their existence. Oh. The one on the space station belonged to someone truly legendary. I really like his voice, he too. He became a galaxy ranger by accident and spent many long years traveling among the stars. He encountered countless fascinating individuals and saw wonders witnessed by few. Many of the records and details recorded therein are beyond the knowledge of even the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild. That is why it became part of the masses of calculation data for the simulated universe. It's Ewan McGregor. Oh, <laughs> it does kind of sound like Ewan McGregor. <laughs> yes. No need to worry, my friend. Totally, I hear it. Left the space station. I, I, that you know what that explains it. He totally sounds like Obi Wan. It's as I said. It is a very important reference for the simulated universe. That is why its data has been extracted and added to the calculations of the universe model. Any chance that this is the same voice actor from uh, the from Clone Wars Obi Wan? Herta was probably impulsive and added the cartridge into the simulation without telling anyone. The more I listen, resulting in the item being listed as lost. Still a little worried, so it's a false alarm. I understand your concern. He has if the, the icon. individual in question <laughs> did indeed try to hack into Herta's office. Then the simulated universe is undoubtedly her next target. Let's see. Clone Wars Obi-Wan voice actor. James Arnold Taylor. And then Scrollum. I doubt it's been announced yet. Voice actor. I spelled that so wrong. Scrollum. Voice actor, screwball! Just don't freaking autocorrect me. I know what I'm about. Screwlum. No, I'm not looking for. I'm not looking for screwball. You don't know me, Chrome. Don't see anything about his VA. Anybody know? Any 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 knowers? Voice actor. Let's see if I can pull it up. No, no record of it yet. But I could see it being the same VA. Look up a video of the VA talking to compare. I like that. I like that. Good thinking. Uh, what's his name? Why does... Ha Ethan, how have you already uploaded a clip of this? Get ready. Hypothesis. Thought always precedes word. And yet, I can't find the words for this moment. <laughs> it's good to see you, Asta. <laughs> I apologize. I'm four minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. What an entrance. I'll, I'll hear you out. I'll hear you out. I will be hearing you out on this one. <clears throat> of course not, Mr. Skrullum. <laughs> Welcome to Herta Space Station. I'm listening. So is this a safe place? <laughs> no need for formalities, Asta. Herta Space Station Generally, is Generally, yeah. <laughs> a safe place if you're okay with being made fun of. Um, cleaning cats, blackheads, cats be blackheads. I could have gone my whole life without knowing that. What is the VA's name? Hold on. Oh, all my buttons are broken. The devil works fast, but Ethan works faster. 
James Arnold Taylor. Or maybe... Twelve months. Thank you so much for all the fun to another year. English love. Thank you, Nihilus. Thank you for the year resub. You know what? I got this. I'll look it up. Maybe it's listed. James Arnold Taylor. Actor. Clone Wars. Known for Clone Wars, Clone Wars, TMNT, Ratchet and Clark. Upcoming. Oh, he was in Tales of the Jedi? Nope, nothing listed. All right, well, maybe we'll see. Ethan Newming. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, dude. As such, please Mel, thank you for the 37 months to also. You with your investigation, madam. As you already know, the simulated universe will be shut down temporarily. No! It will remain shut no! until Herta and I will come to a clear conclusion. No! Yes. This is the last chance to investigate the cartridge data. Screw you, screw them. By way em. of apology for shutting down the simulated universe. You will compensate me? I will use my abilities in the universe to provide you with what assistance I can. I don't know what that was. This is my recommendation. Huh? Please take your time to consider it. <clears throat> Come on. Can I hit him? Come on. Well, madam, are you ready? Oh, wait, Take actually, no. Is... It's not even shut down, liar. Did, did you hear that? I was Good so night, scared Ethan. I could utter a single word. The simulated universe? Shut down? That's Madame Herta's biggest project. I can't imagine how mad she'd be if it fell through. Wait, this isn't my fault, is it? If I'd been able to stop the enemy's invasion, would Mr. Scrullum be less pessimistic? It's not your fault. <sighs> Thanks for trying to comfort me. Ugh, this is terrible. I feel like I'm incapable of doing anything. Still, <laughs> beating myself up all the time won't help either. <laughs> oh, he's so We're relatable. The cartridge. At the very least, we must try and see this thing through. Constantly talking himself on and off the ledge. Having heard what Mr. Scrullum said. I'm Yosis, I'm wrong. You're entering the simulated Speaking down on myself would do nothing. the investigation, aren't you? <sighs> I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you. I'll be helping Mr. Scrullum monitor the system's internal data flow from the office. <sighs> I'm so nervous. This is the first time I've been involved in something so big. <sighs> anyway, I'll be cheering for you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, madam. I've got something Please to ask you. Ask away. I welcome all forms of curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Are you single? Yes. There are other concerns besides those I've mentioned. I believe that the miracles inside the simulated universe have the right to grow and develop organically. The will of others shouldn't be imposed upon it, mm. just like in the actual universe. Okay, okay. The more Herta tries, the further she moves away from the universe <laughs> yes. that she had hoped for. <laughs> Conclusion. <laughs> the endless iterations of the simulated universe are wearing down her talents, day mm. by day. I hope to free my dear friend from it. Nevertheless, okay, that's noble. I must also clarify that this is my opinion alone. You should form your own judgment on Herta, young madam. Who are the galaxy rangers you speak of? They are a group that carries a balance scale with them at all times. They believe all the justice in the universe needs to be achieved through individual deeds. That was the most Love letter. way of describing the Galaxy Rangers in my interpretation. 
They are directed by the path of the hunt and are always accompanied by song and the sound of horns. They pursue justice for the individuals and groups they encounter along the way and shower them with splendid wines and poems. However, all stories come to an end just as they disappeared from the spotlight long ago. Punk Lord there is hackers. a group of life forms there that know nothing of fatigue. Mm. They are attempting to touch upon the umbilical cord of the truth. They are compiling the languages, thoughts, and even emotions of the entire planet into symbols that even inorganic life forms can understand. You see, in the vast sea of data, life exists only in one form, a line of code. Oh. Whether it's a butterfly, a whale, or even you, the length of that line of code dictates the boundaries of what the entity entails. So you're saying you're in a simulation? So I'm actually data? Maybe the emotions of organic life forms are an expression of data, don't you think? No, you're going to give me a panic attack. Next question. Let's Very go. Well. Get going, we shall. I will be sending you into the simulated universe using an alternative method. It might feel a little different than usual. This will help us okay. quickly locate the cartridge in the vast Whoa, sea of data. Deep. We'll start with this data link. Now. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's go. <gasps> the trial. I mean, Silver Wolf trial. Um, recommended type. Okay, well, I will just forego my taunt this time. I don't, also don't have a DPS I could use here, so. Uh, wait, let me switch. Switch. Natasha. Can I raise her yet? <laughs> I'm so poor. Oh. Okay, I'm still kind of poor. Okay. Whale. I'm not a whale. Weightlessness. Blurry of simple and cold. You wake up with Young a jolt. Madam, are you all right? Yes, sir. That's the communication module doing its job. Herta often speaks of it as an expensive and impractical function. She often shuts it off to increase calculating power. However, I maintain that the voice carries greater emotional charge than the written word. You are now inside the data link of the ether cartridge. Look around and tell me what you discover. It's Gary. There's a hacker. Oh. Conclusion. Oh. That is a holographic record that the simulated universe has created. In here, regardless of how large or small, all variables are saved, including outsider traces. Hmm. You were right. The enemy's invasion has spread to the deepest parts of the simulated universe. They were only a hair away from the ether cartridge's data link. What we are seeing are the projections of what happened in those moments. Young madam, please stay still. Allow me to see what I can do with this record. No conquest vlog dish? Um, well, seeing as I just got back yesterday, I have not had time to... <laughs> I haven't even offloaded the footage off of the off of my, <laughs> my camera. So, yes, there will be a conquest vlog, but, like, it has to, you know, it has to be made. Hey, you. Ah! Why are you staring at me? I initiated Wha the simulation flow. Oh. This is just a record of the past. She is not actually talking to you. Are you sure? Please listen and don't interrupt her. We may be able to find out more of what we need to know. First off, I'm not obsessed with it. On Punk Lord, the stories of the cartridge are no different from textbooks. I'm not interested in something that everybody already knows about. Secondly, it's not some kind of video game cartridge. It's an ether cartridge. It's the second pair of eyes, second brain, and second heart of the hacker. Do you <laughs> understand what that actually means? I don't With know. With that cartridge, if a guy went to a movie premiere and bought some mixed popcorn, you'd be able to know the flavor of the fourth kernel he picked out of the bucket. It's truly amazing. 
Lastly, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not obsessed with it. The reason <laughs> I'm still rambling about it is to make sure that you know how amazing it really is. Do you get it now, Kafka? All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. This place is different from the rest of the space station. We're on Genius Society turf. Packer. It is safe to assume that two people entered the simulated universe. Her and her companion. Interesting. Let's see what happened next. You are now taking the point of view of the companion. <gasps> she will react to your behavior now. What the? Wow. Cool. Um, did you watch Blue Period? Yes, I did. I watched it and I finished it on. Break. What? What? Moment. Cool. <laughs> Can I have fun this time? Time for a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Here, the thunder. Wow, cool. Hi Denzel, was no one gonna tell me Miss Dish was alive? Did you not get a notification? I feel like Twitch has not been sending out notifications like it's supposed to. Hey! What? He's the moment. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no? No mercy. Huh. More enemies. Follow my charge. <laughs> That's so dumb. I would still sub my phone Working showing star around, instead huh? of Tika. I got this. Dude, Twitch is on something. I I will do a test YouTube stream pick just for fun. First? Give your beloved instincts a try. Did you tell me to choose? Technically, she is asking her companion to choose. The record will continue forward even if you don't take any action. Hmm. Wrong choice. The correct answer is the path on the right. Okay. Twitch is in its flop era. Really is. Continuously flopping. Hmm. Not what we're looking for. It's a bait signal. You got one one hour in. That's good. Uh, Thanks, Twitch. Why would Herta put something like this inside the simulated universe? Doesn't she find it annoying when she has to find something herself? Never mind, I miscalculated. Let's try another sector. She's actually on the correct path. She just needs to continue a little further. I trust that she too will realize this soon. Oh, she doesn't? Why are you so sure? You seem to know her really we well? We met only once. Stellaron Hunter, Silver Wolf. We fought against one another before. Hmm. Herta was there as well. She may have mentioned it to you. I recall that you won. From my point of view, it wasn't a victory. Mm. It was more like a test than a duel. She would attack, and I would defend. Mm. Neither of us gave it our all. She wasn't able to break through my defenses, and I wasn't able to stop her from leaving. I never thought our next meeting would take place under these circumstances. I believe the continuation of our last encounter will soon arrive. Did you unbox all the gifts from Conquest already? No. I have them into <laughs> these two giant suitcases. And I'm going to film a like full gift unboxing for, for YouTube. So there will be a video for it. Dedicated what video the? for it. This was the right way all along. Ugh. herda has got some psychological tactics going on. Seems like we can now continue forward. His voice also does slightly remind me of Aito, which... What if I go the wrong way? Oh, Come on, let me be silly, silly willy and go this way. Disagree. Oh, back to the <laughs> space station again. A riddle? Where's the skip button? Go deep into simulated universe. Let me get this first. One. Bang! <laughs> wow. He's the moment. Uh, A thousand wonders. <laughs> Minus one. 
I always forget to use it that first. <laughs> if I have it like open. Mercy. Drama. This custom me roll for Silver Wolf because I was hating for a second. Hating Silver Wolf. I can't say like she's the most interesting character design to me. Like she's not really my style. So do you hear that bong 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 sound? That is nice. Bong. Bong, 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 bong. Seize the moment. <laughs> Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. A foregone conclusion. Here, this thunder. Let's be friends. <laughs> so excessive. <laughs> Serenity, thank you for the 18 months. I just got here. Oh, I feel bad for the people who lined up outside for hours. Finally, <sighs> Me <there>. too. <laughs> There's even a miniature Herda over here. I commend. Whoosh. Eesh. A little narcissistic, isn't she? The whole space station is filled with her face. Portraits, statues, even projections of herself. I was planning on adding a mustache for her, but the spray didn't work. <laughs> the entire space station feels like it's made of paper, but her portrait is near indestructible. <laughs> She's talking about that portrait in the elevator room, no? Herta commission. Oops, sorry. Herta commissioned me to design an encryption tool for her. Seems she ended up using it on her portrait. <laughs> she said she's almost That's at the destination. Correct. The ether cartridge data is in the next room. Our pursuit is coming to an end. I have a wonderful feeling about this. Yes. That incongruous feeling has persisted incongruous. throughout this long pursuit. Incongruous feeling. What does that mean? Not in harmony or keeping with the surroundings or aspects of something. Oh, in, like incongruent. Oh, oh, oh. I've just never heard it in that form. Incongruous with the surroundings. Hmm. She came for the Stellaron, but showed a strong interest in the Curios. Incongruous. And just as we found out about the existence of the Ether cartridge, she just so happened to show up in the simulated universe. I must admit, this feels less like a chase and more like a chance encounter. I recall a story about Punk Lord. It is said that graffiti is a special kind of symbol there. Hackers see reality as a magnificent game, an attempt to finish the stage we know as life. Hmm. Whether it be for competition or for joy, they leave a trail in the places they visit. One symbol after another link up to become a long, long journey that writes the game of life. And would this ongoing affair not be part of such an endeavor? Perhaps this is all nothing more than a game she's decided to play with us. In which case, let us accompany her till the end. Hmm. Game is to live or die, I guess so. I heard that. Combat domain. It's giving a little Alice in Borderland. You know what? I see it. Uh. I don't really have anyone to use her with. <laughs> Show no mercy. A thousand wonders. <laughs> Fight as one. Huh. More enemies. Time for a buzz. <laughs> this combat needs. <clears throat> this is double speed. Boom. Here, the thunder. Boom. <laughs> Would you be interested in doing a Laffy Loose challenge? The ether cartridge is here, and it's perfectly intact. Uh, I've done one before, but I, I mean, yeah, I just would kind of need a reason to. 
Or maybe I could do it for my side channel. Let me help right. We welcome third party here with us. If what we are seeing constitutes past images of Silver Wolf, then for her to have made it this far would have entailed the disappearance of the cartridge. Yeah. We can only assume that the facts don't align <gasps> with the theory. Is she messing with us? I believe that she was indeed able to hack into Herta's office, but she didn't stay there for very long. After all, even the best hacker wouldn't be able to find a specified target in the vast ocean of the simulated universe's data. Unless... Unless she had someone <gasps> to guide her there. Oh my gosh, you... We are dumb. <laughs> you want to explain it to her first? I can see the confusion. No, no, eyes. I get it. I get it. You were here the whole time and you were just pretending to be a projection. The final results are on the display. Dang, table. that's very yeah. sneaky. Take a closer look if you wish. We have plenty of time left. I will answer any questions that you may have. So she's actually You've guessed correctly. Yeah. The person that stands before you is wow, that's good. starring role. Very smart. She left herself a back door in the office performed a proxy hack the moment you entered the simulated universe uh. and found a way to continue alongside us. I must say, she really is a masterful actor. <laughs> Misdirection is always the most effective method. Sneaky girl. You knew everything from the start. The graffiti is like a two-way data tunnel. You can use it to retrace the trail she leaves behind and she can monitor your progress by seeing which pieces of graffiti have disappeared. Three steps ahead. <laughs> I fear she may well have had the whole thing planned out before hacking the space station. The graffiti and the back door were all in aid of honing in on just the right moment. I'm sorry. Herta forbade me from disclosing any information beforehand. She made clear that knowledge would not be paramount to this operation. What he knew? Rather, the lack of it. However, the way I see it, the most important elements were dedication and sincerity. The actions of Mr. Leonard drew the target right in. Wait, he knew also? Well then, were you satisfied with this simulated universe journey, Miss Silver Wolf? Uh. Uh-uh. Huh. You knew it all along. Oh my gosh, he's smart too. He's smart and clever and sneaky. I knew it would be hard to fool you. All that talk you were spouting along the way was meant for me, wasn't it? It is a joy and an honor to have the opportunity to face That's so cool. You once again. Herta said that this cartridge would be able to lure in the biggest fishes in the universe. She was right. I feel dumb right now. <laughs> so, the business about shutting down the universe and the argument with Herta was all just an act. You did all that to lure me in? Okay, but he is smart at Silver Wolf, so, you know. That is up to you to interpret. <laughs> Herta and I But I didn't get know anything frank with one another. Sharp conversations of that nature happen on a regular basis. It wouldn't be fitting to call it an act. Hmm. Miss Silver Wolf is truly a talented hacker. I'm dumb. Not only did she calculate everything ahead of time, she has numerous variables and aces still to play. News of my sudden visit to the space station was probably the only uncontrollable variable in her plan. And with my arrival came the nightmare of shutting down the simulated universe. That would have ruined her plans and all her preparations. That's why she had to take the risk before the opportunity was lost. You now know everything about this encounter. Yeah, I know that I'm dumb. Everything? <laughs> no, no. You're wrong about the most important part. Oh. You think I came here out of desperation, but I've been bursting with excitement this whole time. Do you know how happy I was when you showed up, Screwlum? Another challenge. I haven't had the thrill of a formidable opponent in such a long time. <laughs> the Legion is nothing but a bunch of cavemen. <laughs> My PC were a disappointment. Only the society has the talent to provide me with a fun challenge. Reality is nothing but a game. But what's the point of a game if it can't make you happy? An invitation letter and a challenge letter were sent to me from two geniuses. How could I not accept them? Would you have turned them down? You're confident you'll be able to get out of this in one piece. That's right. And I'm bringing this with me. Now... 
I don't think so. <gasps> when did you? Oh, a copy. You completed it while we were talking just now. Why else would She's I entertain too smart. so much small talk? You're not the only one stalling for time. I'm guessing that Herda is hiding in a corner somewhere, trying to pull off a reverse hack from where I hacked in. You, on the other hand, are responsible for taking me head on, just as you did last time. Bruh. Yeah, this is like some L and Light Yagami face off big time. <laughs> you always feel like one person is like finally coming out on top and then the other one just, just slips through somehow and you just feel stupid the whole time because you're like, I would have never guessed any of that. So I'll just uh I'll just I'll just sit here with my average intelligence <laughs> and enjoy the show. And I'm looking forward to it. I have other How skills. Do you plan on stopping me this time. Are you going to turn the simulated universe into a black box? Or are you going to work with the IPC and put together a cross galactic encirclement? Screw them. Will I be able to see your true strength this time? The long-awaited result will finally be determined. There will only be one victor today. Please, let me have some fun this time, okay? My apologies, Miss Silverwolf, but none of what you are hoping for will be happening today. Uh. You may leave now. Huh? Leave? But why? Aren't you trying to catch me? Don't you want to cuff me and exile me on some distant planet? Your creativity has proven interesting. However, I have nothing to do with your quarrel with the space station. Ergo, I won't stop you. But she's stealing simulated universe. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm gonna leave with this cartridge then. That's just a duplicate. Correction, not only is the one in your possession a duplicate, uh -oh. but so is the one here. Oh. The real curio was transferred elsewhere oh. at the very beginning. Conclusion. You may share that data freely. Oh my gosh, he was one step ahead of her and then but, but she was one step ahead of of, uh, <laughs> of him and then it just boom boom boom. <laughs> what if I attack the space station again? It would have nothing to do with me. But I must warn you, it is likely that someone would step forward to stop you. Then, what if I were to destroy the simulated universe right now? We'll just get it from the original. I'm sorry, but that simply isn't possible. Ether editing isn't capable of destroying an entire universe. What is the point of this, then? <laughs> you guys went out of your way to put together this trap, but don't plan on doing anything at all? That's right. This way, the game that you so carefully orchestrated wow. is pointless, is it not? There's no point in a game if it's no longer fun. Never mind. Sproulum's too smart for me. I would just feel embarrassed all the time. Silver Wolf, I know what you're after. The IPC's shackles won't be able to hold you, and jail is but another game to you. Herta and I came to an understanding. We will no longer enable you and give you what you need. <laughs> How boring. And just like that, we However, win. Herta felt that this would be too easy on you, and wanted to add something of her own. And that is why, in this very moment, she has reverse hacked you and located all your interastral network accounts. Oh. Oh. Very impressive number. I have all your passwords. <laughs> I have your whole universe account. <laughs> we got your Google. We got your Apple. We got your uh, we got your your Xbox Game Pass, your Epic Games. Um. We've got your Tears of Themis, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Metaverse, all of it. Dark Web, Primos. I just re-roll. I just dumped all of your artifacts. <laughs> I just rolled all of your artifacts into one star artifacts. Got him. How would it be if the IPC were to freeze all of them? Including <gasps> all of your game records. Oh! <laughs> what? Hey, hold on a minute. And she logged out. How hasty of her. Uh -oh. <sighs> Games are always fun in the eyes of a child. No! 
not my games. They are but one among many ways of solving a problem. <laughs> Steam account banned. Epic Games banned. All of it. It's over. World of Warcraft. Perma banned. Unlucky. No more games it's for you. It's about time we were on our way. So true. Wow, that was cool. That really, uh, that, that definitely had some, some Death Note vibes to it. You cannot imagine how hackers can create destruction. Try to visualize them. Set on off explosions within cyberspace. The party involved should be quite fond of the metaphor. Cute. That one's cute. Wah. I am the dumbest among everyone. So I can get all of them after I have. I just need. I just need two more. Can I graffiti him? No. Can I graffiti him? Oh, oh, oh. Dang it. Whatever. Are there more games now? Complete companion mission. Okay, I'm probably close to done with it, huh? Wait. I want to take a picture. Where's my smile? No smiles? Be when I'm... What the freak? Why is it so... Why is... Stuff so there we go. Yeah. Me and my super smart robot friend. <laughs> a flawless victory. Hope you got a glimpse of her Number one victory, Roy y'all. Was it all part of your plan as expected, Madam Herta? Hmm. Make sure you never forget about it. I probably won't. I couldn't care less about what happened with the space station, but I will surely repay the favor tenfold to anyone who dares to taunt me. I already notified someone at the IPC to freeze all her accounts. <laughs> She's probably <laughs> crying in front of her computer right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would cry. I would cry if I got my accounts frozen like that. Thank you, young madam. Your and Mr. Leonard's contributions were a necessity to our victory. Do you have any other questions regarding this incident? Uh, what is Civil War truly after? Her ultimate goal was always the Ether. My games! But she developed an alternative objective in challenging Herta and me in the process. All those complicated puzzles and unnecessary ploys. <laughs> nothing more than games, I'll wager. <laughs> Silver Wolf was like, oh, this is all fun games until they brought up the uh, the accounts. Then <laughs> it got serious. If Identity theft is not a joke! Doors Silver Wolf left behind. We have cleared out all of them, except for the one in the Please office. don't take my Fortnite account! Don't worry. The space station is not as fragile as you think. Whether it's cosmic warfare or the incident that just took place, they're all within Herta's grand plan. Please, ask away. Are you... <gasps> what do you plan on having for dinner? <gasps> Certainly not. Although Madame Herta and I have our differences in terms of research direction, the simulated universe is our shared pursuit, and nothing will change that. What's he gonna say? It's kind of a stupid question, contrary, right? Because he doesn't eat. I plan on staying here for a while to see up close what kind of surprises the new branch of the universe has in store. For Not me. her season one, chapter one, Fortnite account. Please, my Fortnite skins. What is the universe ultimate meaning of the existence of the universe? There is no one answer to that question, my mm. friend. True. It holds a different meaning for everyone. To sentimental, organic life forms, it could be the first falling leaf in the change of seasons, or the marks carved onto someone through the passage of time, to the swarm that follows its instincts, 
It might be the sight of fresh meat in their compound eyes and the restless thirst for sustenance. My cats. And for me, perhaps the image of symbols woven together, still able to move the heart. Something great that you call emotions. That you definitely have. Because I know you were feeling yourself when you put that little little garter on, sir. Of course, I've also heard that the answer is nothing more than a two-digit number. Uh, elaborate? What do you mean? Is that a reference from, from uh, is that a reference to Honkai Impact Third? That sounds like something would be it would be. 42? 42. Wait, what does it mean? Do I want to know? <laughs> My number? <laughs> My beacon address? Oh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. All right. <laughs> I totally forgot. Dang, I need to watch that movie again. I've never, I haven't watched it as an adult and I feel like, I feel like there's a lot in there that I probably missed. Of course, that's so funny. <clears throat> what do you plan on having for dinner? Probably the stupidest question you could ask a robot. A medium rare kettle steak. Uh Salt baked Kalia lemongrass, Herman compound milk, and a portion of fried rice prepared by a certain young man on the station. Wait, that sounds so good. All I need is energy. The form that energy comes in is the same as it is for you. Really? I would never forsake the delights of the culinary world yeah. in the interest of efficiency. Okay. Now, it is possible that my joints may need a little lubricant every now and again. So should we get that together? That's well, it. Young That's all Madam, the questions. Our destination may differ, but there are still countless opportunities it sounded for our so paths good. to cross. The pursuit of knowledge will always be the best driving force for trailblazing. Hmm. He's got olfactory senses. That's cool. Leonard, are you feeling all right? <laughs> are you doing okay? <laughs> are you panicking still? So the Still panicking. Madame Herta wanted me to continue the investigation was to lure her out of hiding? That never crossed my mind. <laughs> Did she know about the traps the hacker left in the space station from the very beginning? If we were three steps behind, Sweet Leonard was like eight steps behind. You were the most fitting person. <laughs> she said I did a good job. Can you believe it? I've just <laughs> been acknowledged by Madame Herta. This is something I'll oh. remember for the rest of my life. We'll just let him enjoy it. I don't have to worry about being fired anymore. Oh, oh, Leonard. Oh, Leonard, this is so much bigger than you. <laughs> has come to a conclusion. Come, let us close the final back door. Sweet child. Sweet child. And that's the end of it. We'll just let him have it. I have enjoy it. Ugh. It's gone. It's all gone. They seriously left nothing behind. They went too far this time. Too far. <laughs> Poor thing. I would be upset too. But, you know. You take the risk. You can't just you can't just go hacking into other people's simulated universe and expect your 73 accounts to not get, you know, obliterated. All right, all right. Stop it's Kafka. It's mom. You're not a kid anymore. I am not throwing a tantrum. Her eyes are flick. Oh, she's got tears in her eyes. I didn't even notice. I think they look like tears. Uh huh. Anyway, what are you gonna do now, huh? Hack an IPC branch nearby and get your accounts back. <sighs> if it were just one or two accounts, Hi, sure. Dish. Welcome I back. I wonder if time. you got my letter and gift. Right pointing finger. A branch left office pointing probably finger. won't be enough. I'm gonna have to make a trip to Pierpoint. Um, I probably did, but it's all in the suitcases still because I'm gonna film a, a unboxing video for all of it. So <laughs> I haven't looked. She ain't crying. Oh, it's a screen reflection. I don't know. It kind of looks like. Oh, it is the screen reflection. Okay, she's not crying. She's not crying. What, you're going alone? That's the IPC's headquarters. Yep, just me. Why? Do you want to come with? 
I probably won't be able to. I'm in Elio's next script. Did you forget? Oh, right. That story doesn't script? sound like it fits me. You guys have fun. Like data script or uh, like theatrical script? I hope you have a good time in Pierpoint as well. Don't worry. <laughs> I've already got an idea. You see that cloud diner just two kilometers Oh my gosh, further? tens! Oh, wow! The material logistics department just Thank you for the, <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Thank you so much! Theatrical script. <laughs> I saw I saw that image before it disappeared. Shin. Very nice. Welcome guys. How is that word getting through my chat? I have my I have my safety filter up so high. How are you getting that word in my chat? <sighs> hey everyone! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Nasty! You guys are so gross! So many gross Genshin streamers! Can't you just say lament like normal people? Sorry for my chance, okay. I love them. I love them too. Hey everyone! Average dish and Mr. Socks viewer. What is what is the average of a dish viewer and a socks viewer? Like what what how do you <laughs> how do those I can't imagine a two streams more different than myself and Mr. Socks. Like energy level wise, literally could not imagine two more different <laughs> streaming viewing experience. <laughs> you see the similarities? <laughs> I mean, I watch, I watch a lot of streamers, but I watch uh, Slice, which I feel like energy wise, he's pretty similar, but it's chat definitely has a different vibe. Socks chat has hive mind. It's cool though. I think it's so cool that like Mr. Socks can say like a, like a keyword and y'all just spam the same emote. I think it's cool. We have two different, um, we have two different... <laughs> two different, uh, varieties of, of... Yeah, exactly. Amazing. Yep. We have, we have two different varieties of ADHD. You have the chaotic, high energy, uh... I don't know how many words is a fast words per minute. It's like a... Like 600 words per minute <laughs> type of ADHD. <laughs> I don't know what I have. Attention deficit. Thank you for coming to Conquest. Emphasis so on glad attention I deficit. By Team for the boss rush. Oh, thank you so much for coming. ADHD cannon. Yeah, more like 10 words per 10 words per second. Oh, I respect it though. I I genuinely am impressed with how fast your brain moves. Anyways, I hope you had a really good stream. Five six real. What does that mean? What's five six? Explain. Explain the inside joke to me. I never had ADHD until I started watching Xylox. <laughs> you contracted it from him. <laughs> he got five out of six out of, on an ADHD test. Wait, this is an ADHD test? Is it like legit? Do you remember what website it was? I mean, it's probably not legit, but I'm at the point where I don't feel like it's... I don't feel, I don't feel like it's worth getting... Polio craters! What the... Is that real? You're interesting! Me? Me? Come on in! Twitch.tv slash. What the Holyo creators? See you next time. Hey oh, thank you so much. No, it's it's legit. You're interesting. That is a is a ominously ambiguous word choice. It's Silver Wolf. <laughs> I am a part of Hoyo Creators. Good game, Hoyo. We love your game. We love your games. Zero complaints. 
We are perfectly good streamers and viewers. Thank you so much for the 3,000 bits. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Benzo, thank you for the thousand or the for the hundred bits. Pika, thank you for the I'm just I'm just gonna go for the first unsponsored result. Psych Central. Do I have ADHD? Is the quiz accurate? Not a definitive tool. Okay, alright. Quick, 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 quick ADHD test. Ugh. How often do you have difficult saying your stage while doing something for work? Often. Often I'm easily distracted by external stimuli every single time I try to do anything. How do you avoid dislike or reluctant to engage in tasks that would sustain mental effort or thought? Uh, no. No. I mean, well, I don't mind actually long effort, mental effort. How often do you have trouble listening to someone even when they speak directly to you like your mind is somewhere else? I feel like my mind is present, but I have to like look around the room to like not get distracted. Like I need something else to keep me engaged. So maybe I'll say sometimes. How often do you have difficulty organizing an activity or task needing to get done? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a responsible person, but my time management is questionable. So I'm gonna say often. How often do you fail to give close attention to details and make careless mistakes? <sighs> Unfortunately. Being a perfectionist and being careless somehow is just a crazy combo. How often do you forget to do something all you do all the time, such as <laughs> missing an appointment or paying a bill? <laughs> uh, this is why I keep a meticulous calendar and it's the only way that I don't miss stuff, so. I'll say sometimes because I take steps outside of it to like manage it. But if, but as, as far as like my mental clock, it's pretty bad. How often do you lose or misplace or damage something that's necessary to get things done? Ah. <laughs> I wish there's something above often. I, on my flight to the Philippines, I lost my Apple Watch at uh, LAX. And I lost my AirPod case on the plane in the Philippines. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I never know where my wallet is. I lose my phone. I have to ping it constantly. I never put it back in the same place. Yeah, so I have it. <laughs> it has a pushing case. You didn't lose your passport. No, thank God I didn't lose my passport. How often do you have trouble following through on instructions, failing or finishing schoolwork, chores, duties in the workplace? Um, nah. No, I don't fail to finish. I, I take my work pretty seriously. How often are you unable to play or engage leisurely in activities quietly? Never. I love leisurely activities. Quiet leisurely activities. How often do you have difficult time waiting your turn, such as waiting in line? I get extremely antsy. How often do you feel like you're on the go? Acting as if you're driven by a motor. Unable to be... Or uncomfortable being still for extended period of time, such as a restaurant or a meeting. Ah. Uh, nah. I don't think so. How often do you leave your seat in situations when remaining seated is expected? Yeah, sometimes. How did you blurt out an answer before the question has been completed? Completing another person's <laughs> sentence or can't wait your turn in conversation. <laughs> uh, I can suppress it, but the temptation is there. So I'll say sometimes. How often do you feel restless like you want to get out and do something often? Fidget or tap your feet often. Talking excessively? No, not on stream or only on stream. How often do you interpret or intrude on others, such as butting into their conversation or taking over what others are doing? No. Were, se 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 mm -hmm. Were several of the symptoms present prior to age 12? Yeah. Symptoms appear at least two or more settings, home or school. Well, I spend all day at home. But it did appear in school. So... Okay, just... 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 
to be clear, I don't believe self-diagnosis is 100% accurate, and this is not diagnostics. This is just online screening. So I'm not taking this and saying I have ADHD after it, but I'm also probably not going to get diagnosed ever purposely because I don't know if I want to get on drugs. Okay, anyways. Possible. 39 out of 58. Possible, possible, possible. Oh, <laughs> wait. 39 is the highest number in the middle. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Just barely enough to be in the possibility section. That's so funny. <laughs> you may or may not. People who have answers similar to you sometimes qualify for agnosis for ADHD or ADD. All right. Well, that's an extremely inconclusive answer. Thanks so much for that. Furthering my, furthering my. Uh, I feel like that quiz was more, uh, more at us, uh, targeted at like hyperactive and not like the on and off switch that I feel like I can, like I get super obsessed with one thing that I'm doing and I like zone out everything. I have like that side where I like will neglect all my basic health needs to like do something. And the other side where I can't do anything for more than two seconds. The hyper focus part, yeah. Yeah. Five page packet. Wild list of questions. Yeah. I, I feel like that quiz was probably more targeted at like symptoms more common in male ADHD havers. Maybe I'll get diagnosed someday. I don't know. I just feel like what's the point? The only point would be to say I'm diagnosed with ADHD. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Thanks for that, it was fun. And uh, thanks for rating my stream. 98th percentile, Zach's got a 36. Wait, what? I got higher than him? That's not possible. Maybe it is. <laughs> uh, maybe someday I'll get diagnosed and I'll just be like, I don't want any drugs. I just wanted the, I just wanted to be <laughs> affirmed. I just wanted, I just wanted to, to be validated. No drugs though. I'm afraid that if I ever start taking like medication for ADHD, I'll just never, I'll be able to like not live without it. You can go to professional to deal with it better. That's true. That's true. Like physical therapy, but for your brain. Which would just be therapy. <laughs> That's a good idea. I mean, I can afford it. All right, well, I'll put it on my to-do list and maybe I'll get it done in the next five years. CBD. CBT? CBT, what's that? Oh, cognitive behavioral therapy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. CBD. Sometimes medication is not the answer. There's a tons of options that don't go down the road of using medication. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Maybe I'll maybe I'll we'll check it out then. Did you search CBT on Google? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, why? Is that weird? Oh. 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 One time when I was playing through Portal, like the first time I was playing through Portal 2, super long time ago, when I was a bit little baby streamer, someone came into <laughs> my chat with, um, their username was all spelled out, CBT, blank and blank torture. And I was like, I made a joke that I'm like, I'm just gonna call you torture because I ain't saying that. And then they changed, <laughs> they changed their name to regular torture. <laughs> I wonder what they're up to. I thought that was so funny. 
I'll never forget that. <laughs> Close beta test, yeah. I mean, I knew what it was prior to, prior to looking it up, unfortunately. Whatever, I don't want to think about it any further. Come back to Fisher. <laughs> Uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go down that road. <sighs> Alright, as much as I love this photo of Silverwolf and Kafka, should we finish this quest? I feel like we've got two more slides left. Getting a move on already? I would have thought you'd at least want to spend this some quest time is so with fun. that cartridge you were obsessing about. I told you, I'm not obsessed with it. Besides... Kafka. There's fun to be had along the way. Running through the efful effulgent? Effulgent. Another word I don't know. I need to read more books. Shine bright. Oh, like, uh, like, um. Oh. Effervescent. Neon lights. Just as she were left. Just as she had left her homeworld that night, sprinting toward the stars. Starlight elongates her shadow, illuminating the history of punk lore. Those who pen their legend, the legends, their vows remembered by the stars. The earliest RPG gamer said games are about growth. True. The calm tactical strategy gamer said games are all about victories. The rebellious, what? Rebellious collaborative gamer said games are about encounter. The loving narrative gamer says games are about remembrance. And now, the young galactic adventure gamer, she, s she said, A game is a game, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> nice. That was, that was fun. A visitor on the express? Hey, oh, really? Just gonna pop in. I, I appreciated the length of that quest. I like that there wasn't a bunch of filler. I feel like I understand her as a character, and I didn't need to get through a bunch of NPC impact to, to like, learn it. Although, technically, Mr. Monocle is also NPC, Welcome but... Home. Hope you had fun at Conquest in Dish Flower. I did! I did have fun! T-Bone, thank you for the Prime sub. I had a lot of fun. I barely had uh, any energy other than to just attend the events and eat and and rot in my hotel room. But it was all, it was awesome meeting people. <sighs> Level 999. This reminds me of uh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Wasn't there something about level 999? <laughs> like the, like the epic gamer. I feel like that number just reminds me of. Yeah! Before the tutorial mission starts. Yay! Cool! I want this one. Boom! Now I'm ready to start my Valorant game. Ba! 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 Cool. There's graffiti in my video game. Wow, two fuel, that's pretty nice. It's pretty good. Okay. Ooh. Cage business. What about? Ugh, I want this bubblegum now, dang it. I'm hungry. Bum, 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 oh, poor, poor Asta. <sighs> I've got literally nothing. Increases wearer's effect hit rate by 30% when uh, the wearer's attack. When the wearer attacks, defense reduce enemies regenerate six energy. Ooh, wow. Interesting. 
DPS, alt DPS. Um... Joe says, Miss Dish, have you watched the Sumero Boys Disney musical? No. <laughs> no. What's the story of this? Um, how much longer until the action starts? You have the nerve to ask a question like that. Is this something wrong with the new recruit? No. Elio didn't choose her because she was good at fieldwork, but she has to at least survive this rookie assignment. She's cruising. Then I'm relieved. It seems that Blady has proved to be a reliable operative as well. I don't know what any of that means. But I'm happy for you. Oh, I'm sorry that happened. Oh, it's Leonard. Where to now? Comforting Leonard again. Nice. Please watch this. So cute. Where is that? Alright, spit it out, Leonard. What do you want? Is this a side quest? I thought this was the end of the... Uh... Oh my gosh, I don't care. Sorry, bro. I don't care that much. No. Not yet. Alright, I'll circle back to that. It's from Hoyo Fair. Title on YouTube is The Diagnosis. No sis, Genshin. Hoyo Fair. No, I haven't seen this. Let's watch it really quick. Strawberry milk, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Dish reacts 10 years late to thin musical. No. That's why rooming with Al Haytham is the worst. Oh, oh I think I've heard the music. Thing. He's been wearing my limited edition weasel house slippers. <sighs> Kaveh, stop complaining about Al Haytham. Besides, why would he wear your slippers? He's so much richer than you. <laughs> if he wanted, he could buy thousands of them. Oh! On top of everything else, I think I'm getting sick. At the mention of Al Haytham, maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> Kave, as a forest watcher, I've seen my share of ailments. If you'd like, with Sino's help, I can diagnose you. Do you think this is serious? Tell me what you see. Hmm. Cheeks are sunken like an old man's as he dies. What? And from the bulging what? of your eyes, Ooh. you've got the most severe of cases. That's just how my face is. Posture shrunken, nausea is your new routine. It's up to us to intervene and shed a light on what your symptoms need. <laughs> All the indicators tell us you're jealous. Huh? It's safe to say I'll hate those great. Heard this before. Cave that brings you down. They tell us you're jealous, you're diagnosed. Let's toast to nature's loss. Your symptoms have a cause. <laughs> this is crazy. Who makes you think I'm jealous of Al Haytham? It's his look, it's his vibe, it's his status as a scribe. Bet you nag him like a spouse because you can't afford his house. <laughs> it's the clap, clap, claps he got. It's acting grand sage. Do you snap, snap, snap? Because his youth reminds you of your age. Turn the page. It could be the fact that you want his wage since you're always short of mora. You know, that like I'm not Flora. For a second, just reflect and respect our intellect. Our theory isn't off the cuff, it's obvious. I've had enough! Fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No wonder why if I was broke as you, I'd feel pathetic too. <laughs> as clues accrue, they, they tell us, us you're jealous, you're diagnosed. Let's toast to nature's loss. Your symptoms have a cause. You've been in denial a while, but it'd be best if you confess the way. Share it, we'd hear it, your spirit would soar. There's no need to conceal so good. what could help you 
to heal. So tell us, you're <laughs> tell us, we're tell us, cause we've been there before. You'll share it, we'll hear it, your spirit will soar. Tell us, you're tell us, the truth is a useful tool. Tell us, you're tell us, let's move on. I knew it. How oh, hate them? Yay! Yay! That's so good. Wow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so well done. Thumbs up. 4.8 million views. Wow. Deserved. Big deserve. Big deserve. The title was The Diagnosis. That's so cute. Let's <laughs> watch it again. <laughs> uh, you can watch it in your, in your, uh, study hall. Miss Tato Taro says, "Can our next summer update be a Genshin musical? Maybe <gasps> the whole voice cast can sing." What does this want me to take a picture of? Target found. Oh. I just stumble across it. Champ, you okay. literally sounded like you were part of the song in this part. What? No. No, no, no. You're hyping me up. It's up to us to intervene and shed a light on what your symptoms need. <laughs> All the indicators tell us you're jealous. Huh? It's safe to say I'll hate those great renowns. I've only heard this before. Intake, but brings you down. Oh, like my, my, my dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's gonna be stuck in my head for days now. Man, me too. I'm an idiot. I already forgot what I was looking for. Womp womp womp. Um. Peter. Big screen. Um. Random table. Easy, easy. Tell us you're jealous. I definitely heard this before. <laughs> I hope you liked your time in the Philippines. Smile, thank you for introducing HSR to me less than three. Oh, you're welcome. I did enjoy my time in the Philippines. The only part of I that I didn't like was when <laughs> this is. <laughs> So I, my flight back was fine, but my flight there, for some reason, I got just like the worst migraine I have literally ever had. Like, like I was, it was one of the few times in my life that I was genuinely like, this pain is borderline unbearable. The only other time I felt like that was when I had mono and I, I had like strep throat symptoms. Um. And that was just so miserable. Heard the, um, <laughs> and then like the migraine is one thing, but if you have had migraines before, you know that they can make you nauseous. So usually when I get migraines, I'm like, okay, like I'll let me just lay down. Um, I'll lay down, I'll take a nap, I'll take some Advil, I'll eat something, and I should feel fine. But, you know, over the course of a 12 hour, or 14 hour flight, excuse me, where I obviously couldn't, like, really relax, and I had a middle seat, and I was between Joshua and uh, a rather, a, 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 a larger gentleman, and by that I mean he's just was, like, really tall. Tall and, like, Burly, I guess? So it just like wasn't comfortable. So <laughs> around like the 12 hour mark, I was like really feeling nauseous. Like they serve breakfast. And one of the things that came with breakfast was like a bread roll with butter. And I love bread. Like I love bread almost more than anything in the world. It is my favorite food. And I took one bite of the bread 
and I felt like gagging. And I was like, okay, this is not good. <laughs> this is really bad. Um, and I will spare you the details because I know this is a difficult topic for some people, but I, I lost my the contents of my stomach three times before we landed in the Philippines actually once was after we landed that I that I lost my food and I when we were on <laughs> I forgot about this part when we were on our van on the way <laughs> from the being transported from the airport to the hotel I had to ask to pull over so that I could lose my food once again. It was quite the experience. <sighs> but other than that, the trip was mostly awesome. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could actually go into the the parlor from here. Sorry, I'm not supposed to be here. It was an accident. Mom, I fought up. I threw up. Good, good times. Oh hey, Herta. Hello. I mean, not Herta. Silver Wolf. Silver Wolf. She wasn't supposed to be here. What are you doing on the what express? Do you mean, what am I doing? Everyone else is <sighs> it's here. It's okay. Can't I be too? It, it's okay. I uh, did you find it again? <laughs> Good one. Yeah, the flight back was like so a breeze compared to the flight there. It's like. I couldn't sleep, so the four I felt every minute of that fourteen hours. Relax, I'm just dropping by for a visit. <laughs> I was hacking through the dark regions of the inner astral network a while ago and happened to see a signal from the astral express. <laughs> so I thought I'd stop by to check it out. Getting sick while actively traveling is the absolute worst. Feels like a little kid again. Yeah, and I'm like, there's nothing I can do. Like, I at this moment, I can be physically in two places. I can either be in my chair or I can be in the bathroom. So, like, I'm literally just going to have to cope. I just got to cope. Why did you fly, though? <laughs> to the Philippines? What, me what method of travel would you suggest? A jet? A bus? A jet ski? A boat? Just swim? Ears when you hit me like... <laughs> Is the word hot banned in chat? You know what? It might be. Teleport waypoint. Oh, of course. That's so stupid. Of course that was the right choice. I didn't even think about that. What you see in front of you is a hologram. Just as harmless as the Total whale mermaid. hologram <laughs> you see floating around the express. Here. See for yourself. Ice bridge. Oh, of course. Seeing is believing, right? If you're still not convinced, you can cut off the network connection on the express, and I'll disappear into thin air. Until you turn it back on, of course. Well, cool. Um, yeah, I think next time... I travel internationally, especially if it's for, like, work. I will probably... Honestly, if it's... 14 hours is the longest I've ever flown. The only thing that was even close to that was when I flew to Korea. And that was... Uh, oh, gosh. I think it was maybe 13 hours, so pretty close. Um, I will probably request to fly business. And if I have to pay for it, then so be it. Even though it's so exorbitantly expensive, low key, I don't think I can do that again. Like it's like long flights like that. <sighs> I just think if there's something that I could splurge on that would genuinely improve my life for a short period of time. Seems like a worthy. <laughs> It's like a worthy option. Even though it's so expensive. But hey, if I'm flying business, you know. Am I silly, stupid? I can't find the, the, the thing. I got 
this one. Maybe I didn't get... No, I did get that one. Did I? Oh. Yahoo. So cute. Business class. Yeah, I mean... It's a huge expense and it's like... Kind of... It's kind of nuts, to be honest, the cost of buying business. And flight? Flights are like... Like, it's like daylight robbery. <laughs> Honestly. Like, flights are expensive in and of themselves. Like, even if you fly the cheapest economy, it's still so expensive. And then there's, like, if you fly the cheapest, there's still going to be, like, hidden fees. Like, you still have to pay for, like, your your checked bag. Or you have to, you can't bring a carry-on or something. Um, like, there's all other, like, you're still going to pay more than you think you're going to pay. Um, and then... There's, like, the seats, like, in even in the last, like, probably 10 years. There's no way. Like, economy seats just keep getting tighter. It's tighter and smaller so they can cram more people into the flight. And then there's so much, like, leg room in first class and in business class. That it's just like, man, you guys are... Like if you if you took out one row of like first class or business class and maybe took off like 10 seats on each plane it would be so much more just like pleasant for people but nope nope nope, nope. they want all the money it's yeah late. where to now sealed sector wait maybe i don't know what sealed sector is are you sealed sector Oh, whoa, whoa. Ah, combat. Okay. Yan Ching moment. I discovered recently that I'm a silly goose and that Yan Ching should not be next to the taunt character. Dang, I need to build, build Ching Chue. Um, because if he takes damage, his DPS gets lessened, so I didn't know that. Now I know. Now I understand. And I will not be silly any longer. Um. I never know who to bring with these three. I was just bring Jing Yuan for everything. Is she? I just heard him meowing. Position actually matters. It does. It doesn't matter for turns because turns is determined by speed. But Yanqing, I guess, I think, I feel like I read it and then I just forgot. But one of his abilities involves like... Soul sink. So the soul sink. Where is it? Where's the where's the description on soul sink? A bright edge that can cut jade. Oh, uh, dealing the stars shift within it. So his skill fine sword indeed. Deals ice damage equal to number. And Yunqing's attack to a single enemy activates Soul Sync for one turn. So Soul Sync is a... Rise. <laughs> it doesn't actually say what it is. Ow. I need the Soul Sync description. I don't know, but I think it buffs his crit. But basically, it disappears when he gets hit. When he, when Yanqing re receives damage, the Yanqing, the soul sink effect will disappear. So I think, is it his bulb attack? Is his talent? 
one with the sword. When Soul Sing is active, Yun Ching is less likely to be attacked by enemies. His crit, crit ray is increased and crit damage is increased. 30% chance to perform a follow up attack dealing ice damage. Okay, so it's like, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Basically, you don't want him next to a character that's like an abundance character or a preservation character because they're gonna draw a lot of attacks. So let's do this. Sure. Yes, I got lucky and I got his light cone. Those are my two poles from the standard banner have been Yan Ching and his weapon. Remove the obstacles and clear the area. For sure, for sure, for sure. Good night, Joy. Ba -ba -ba. Puzzle? It's a me. Yanchi. I'm meeting you. Easter egg. Hacking call cards. Trying to locate them as an added reward. Collecting hacking call cards will increase your combat ability. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. I'm with it. Peacher. Are you jet lagged? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm jet lagged. I just was really tired, so I slept. <laughs> I slept from like 8 p.m. until like 10.30, and then I went back to sleep at 3, and we both slept till noon. So how many hours is that? It's like 12 and a half hours. <laughs> so I just was like really sleep deprived. But yeah, I'm just not tired yet. So I'll try to sleep. I like, oh, it's almost two. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm a little jet lagged, but I don't normally sleep until two anyway. So. Bro, you didn't even see me. Seize the moment. Okay, so that activates. Now I get it. Welcome, customers. Yeah, time for sword play. Strike with heart. Now I get it. Okay. Victory by the blade. I will be a good Yunching user now. Although his relics are copium. Oh, actually, it's not bad. Well, it's kind of bad. We don't really want crit rate. We want crit damage, but, uh, you know, beggars. Shift the balance. I love these. I'm so, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm cracked at these. Peter. Give me that. <laughs> cool it. Cool it. Freeze. Seize the moment. I love these. Proceed to get off. What? Me? No. Naughty child, nap time. Wow. Let's be friends. Oh shoot. <laughs> Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> no follow up attack, Madge. Seize the moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chills. We make a pretty good team. When he said, cool it, I really felt that. In here. Sealed sector. 
Um, excuse me, I see a bonus. Yahoo. Seize the moment. Is Yanqing's fault based RNG? Uh, it's chance based. <laughs> so right now, mine has a 56. Lance at the ready. Time for a shot. Now. Welcome, customer. No. Oh. Right now, mine has a 56% chance, but I'm pretty sure that goes up with. Uh, yeah. I can probably. Ah, uh, no synthesizer in here. This probably. This number is what dictates it. Nope. This one. 53 fixed chance. So I'm sure. I don't know what the max number is on that, but it definitely does go up. Where'd you get your blue bag when you use it Conquest? Honestly, I think I got it at Target. <laughs> it was like on Super Sale or something. Target Superior. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Yahoo! No! <laughs> Dang it. Stupid. You got a new emo? Nice. No! Do not hit him! <laughs> I gotta cleanse him with Natasha. That's better. I can breathe easy again. Yeah, okay. What? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good. Actually, practice is over. Swords descend. Yeah, okay. Yeah, his his follow up is RNG. I thought he always did it in uh maybe maybe at higher higher uh maybe that changes with the the A L Leon level or whatever the frick it's called. Naughty child. Naughty child, ugly boy. Textbook performance is so easy. Yeah, Leonard, it's so easy. Give me my reward, sir. Yes. How are you doing, Miss Dish? Traces. I just level mine to. Ooh, thank you. Level mine to six. Places to be. Well, your best guide. Let's see how much it goes up. With one level. I'm sure I could just look it up, but you know, because I'm gonna level up anyway. Oh, I'm broke. Got no hunt stuff. 54. What? Wait, it doesn't go up? Was it 53 before? Or was it just 54? It went up one. <laughs> what the heck what the heck why would you make it a yellow number if it's gonna go up such a menial amount <laughs> it's so dumb it's not funny I didn't even look before I leveled it if I had looked I probably wouldn't have I wouldn't have done it yet no one to blame myself wonder if any of these erase it hello no, no. Soul sink or ultimate are in effect when enemies feed it through duration and the buff extends one turn. Okay. Alright, well doesn't go up. Ryan's 55 at level six. It just goes up one percent. What is the point? It should just be not it should just not level up at all. <laughs> uh, very funny. Hey, a daily reset. Let's go. 
P. 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 Thank you, Tingyu. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I sound like a smoker. <coughs> I sound like that lady on TikTok that like makes fun of people who take themselves too seriously. Delaney, whatever. <laughs> P. Amazing revelation, Tingyu. Thank you. <clears throat> Cavern corrosion. Uh, sounds like something Jesus for tomorrow. <gasps> I'm almost to the next level. Do I get a wish? Hold on. Must auto farm. Four. Okay. That's not going to last me very long. But. I also need. Everything else. So maybe. Can't go wrong here. <laughs> no decisions to make. I'm short on everything. <laughs> were there any promo codes of this patch? Yes. There were. Um, I don't have them on me. Does someone have the codes? How does Dish already unlock two of the golden tickets? Because the daily reset just happened. There. Kai, Kai, they got him. Thank you, thank you guys. How do you have those on hand? It's amazing. P. <laughs> when Ting Yun said P, I really felt that. Really resonated with me. As I have to pee right now. Pee. Go pee, girl. Go pee, girl. I didn't. I were you wishing for Silver Wish? Uh, Silver Wish? Silver Wolf? No, I did not wish for Silver Wolf. Silver Fish. I'm skipping. Even though I want her, I'm skipping. <laughs> <laughs> silver wish. <laughs> Not silver wish. Saving for Locha because I need another healer and I really like him. How? Why would you not heal her? Right now. P. She feels like Pela, but a single target only, but a bit stronger. Please taunt. Please taunt now. Mysterious men. He's so mysterious. I have to pull for him. You know? Well. Ah. So close. Source of sand! Just pulled your watch your old Eula full video to see her silhouette in case she comes back soon. <laughs> Just to remember what it was like when Eula was in the game. Uh, that was so funny when we all had that collective uh, fever dream that Eula is was real. She's truly was a what a uh, was a limited edition character. We all have the Mandela effect, collective Mandela effect about Eula, but in reality she was she never existed. It was just a glitch. Do we have another event this patch? Yes. There is one 
about a missing... Welcome back from your trip, MS Dish. Hope it was fun in this week. It was fun, Kenneth. Thank you for the 11 months. Ken. <laughs> no, I like Kenneth. Dang, his follow-up attack's not bad. But yeah, I guess I wouldn't... I wouldn't build him around his follow-up, like if you're using him in Simulated Universe only as your DPS, I probably would not... I wouldn't go uh, Elation because it doesn't seem like... Pitting uh, three. It's uh, his, his follow-up attack only hits up... hits once in a while. Why am I trying to go to my teapot right now? Oh my goodness. I may be awake, but there's nothing going on up here. This feels like a teapot space, does it not? Doesn't this feel like teapot? Like vibes? Boom, boom, boom. No wish, dang it. Are we gonna get another wish? Ah? When's my next wish? Free wish. Whatever. Okay, but 100 jade, I'll take it. And credit. Yeah. Okay. Let's raise Natasha up to set. Oh, I'm so dumb. I got the wrong material. It's okay. I'm pouring everything. It's all right. I got the weapon mats. I thought I meant to. I meant to get books, or whatever the frick it's called in this game. The level up materials. But I'm just so silly that I forgot. I did the wrong thing. I meant to do this. The books. Nice one. Thanks, guys. <laughs> wow, perfect. I need to borrow some of you guys' brain cells, I think. Please, um... Airdrop them to me. <laughs> I want to put March's cabin to shame. March's cabin is so cute. I love it. I have none. Okay, noted. Duly noted. I have Zayla in my level 80 in my support list, and it's just beyond not fair. Do you think they'll nerf her? I don't think that they will. I don't think that they won't. They can actually nerf a character unless it's like once they've already been released. I don't think because a a, a character is technically a product. I don't know this for sure. But I don't think you can nerf something that was, like, purchased, you know? In China, nerfing gacha characters post-launch is illegal. Yeah. But basically, the only- they nerfed Branya, but that was pre-release, wasn't it? Yeah, beta. Beta doesn't beta doesn't count because they can make changes. They can make changes from beta to official release because beta's is not actually like the gotcha part hasn't started. But yeah, it would cause such chaos if they nerfed if they could nerf gotcha characters. Bruh. They can only buff. They can only improve. They can't they can't like they they improve Zhongli, but they cannot. That's right. Give me give me all your energy. Yeah, betas are always subject to change. Mm -hmm. They can't nerf characters or weapon directly. They can fix kits not working correctly. True, they can. Yes. Oh yeah, didn't that happen with um? Didn't they technically adjust um uh what's his name? The little guy? The little 
little feather boy from Genshin. Oh, I already forgot. Mika. Yeah, yeah, Didn't- but that was because what he- how his kit functioned was not the same as what his kit said. There was, like, something that activated more than it was supposed to. Um, so- so although that deck technically qualifies as, like, a nerf, I don't think legally it does because it- his kit was performing differently than how it was, like, in, written in the description. Yeah, stamina, stamina. Legally, that's not a nerf. It's like a correction. But if they changed it, like if, if his kit said one thing and then and acted that way and they changed it and like changed the wording, then legally that would be a nerf. Use technique two times. Hmm, okay, I can I can do that. Give me gem. Give me gem. Gem, gem, gem. Take one photo. My goodness, I've taken a million photos today. Pick me and my my enemy. Is your sleep schedule really bad? I guess technically, yeah, it is. But I give myself a pass because. Hey, when did you get here? <gasps> Whoa! Hold on. Um, yeah, that's also why they can't put limited items on standard. Right. Because technically, that a limited character has to stay limited. It can't be unlimited. Yeah, chat font, chat font is different <laughs> because I'm using a new PC and it um, I'm just gonna attack this directly. Welcome, uh... customers. Please, I need my burst. No. Oh, oh, clutch. I don't know if it was gonna leave anytime soon, but still. <laughs> Still, I will take it. Boom. Yeah, it's because I, I'm using a new PC and I um, haven't... Victory by the blade. Damn. Hey, why well, didn't get J for that? Oh, bonus rewards. Oh, right, I forgot. This is a new change for this patch. You don't get Jade, but you get extra rewards. This, this is cool. No, it's fine. It's a W. Either way. Well, let's see. Since I'm working on... Oh, just kidding. I don't have any stamina. Do that tomorrow. Oh, Man, I got so many jade today. It was a very nice. Very nice start day. Hi C haven't rolled for Jing Yuan and Seal cause I foresee them getting power crept in the future. My F2P <laughs> mind. That is either <laughs> I feel like the first couple characters won't get power crafts because well I guess I could go either way. Like they could be they could end up being like super overpowered or or like they they it's hard for developers to probably estimate exactly how things will work in in time so sometimes early release characters are more powerful than they maybe should be and they kind of nerf nerf later characters or like lower the value but it's possible and they can't they can't nerf characters themselves but they can change the meta like, they didn't, obviously, they didn't nerf, like, Pyro, or, like, Genshin didn't nerf Pyro and Hydro. Actually, they buffed Hydro. They didn't nerf Pyro or Cryo, like, Melt. Instead, they just changed the meta. Like, Zhongli never has been nerfed, but they've released enemies that punish you if you have a shield. And, and 
uh, and and such. So, I'd like to see what monstrosity could power creep Sila. They have to. They can't make them. They can't nerf the characters, but they can make them less relevant. Like I feel like AOE, AOE and shielding is like super strong right now. Um, even in like simulated universe, there's a lot of times where even the final boss, like you have to defeat outside enemies to like reactivate weaknesses and stuff. So they aren't directly nerfing characters, right? Exactly, exactly. Never add low HPs enemies, and she won't be useful. I don't really know much about how. Pu Song, Yelan, and Xingqiu. Pu Song. Oh, who tells wrongly Yelan and Xingqiu still OP team right now? I think so. Yeah, that's like. That's like really hard to beat. <laughs> the only team that can probably compete is Nilu Bloom. Nilu Bloom. It's more so that, like, they brought, brought, huh? brought new playstyles and new um, meta rotations for different elements and different playstyles. So, yeah. Blot. <laughs> right in national. True. True, true, true. As long as the only, the point, I think, of gotcha is just to... Like, aside from trying to make money from people for feeling like their characters aren't strong enough and they need the next new one, probably the best thing that, um, like, the best way to probably look at Gotcha is, is it's just a, it's just different ways to enjoy the game, like, to enjoy the same content, right? Man, when is my next free one? Oh, I'm so far away! Yeah. The introduction of Dendro reaction changed a lot in the meta. Geo became more useless. Yeah, I don't know how they're gonna. I don't know how they're gonna bring back Geo. Like Geo DPS has been so copium for so long. The only Geo elements that have been like useful are characters that basically don't even use their element, like Yunjin. Like Yunjin. Is her her kit is absolutely zero percent about her geo damage and like geo application or anything like that. It's all about you know providing numerical support to other to other redeemable with strails. <gasps> wow. Oh wait, I'm not buying anything. I'm saving for the next. Wonder if I'll discover any rare swords. I'm saving for the next, uh, you know, the thing. This shadow of preservation. <sighs> I need to finish the main quest. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm so far behind on everything. Don't talk about that life. Of, don't talk about my boy Ito. <sighs> yeah. Physical's basically non-existent. I think they were talking about Genshin. Yeah, in Genshin, yes. <laughs> but in Star Rail, it's because um, elements are not really... Like, elements function more like just categories, like different variables. They're not really, like, they don't really... Inter they don't interact with each other, at least not yet. It basically makes it so every element is viable. Which is nice. I, I, I think... That's a good trade-off. Like we think are we're thinking more about like rotation and like managing skill points and speed and very precise, like in tough battles, more precise calculation. Like that's a good trade-off. Like having to think about elemental reactions on top of that might be kind of too much for our brain, you know? Yeah, paths play a much bigger part in characters and elements. Big time. Big time. It's also kind of cool that um, the characters maintain their like signature weapon, no matter what. Like like that, you you can still have the same visual experience with a character regardless of what light cone you're using. Which it's just now dawning on me that Tingyun uses a fan. <laughs> like that's her weapon. 
That's how she's a freaking bazooka. This is so funny. I wish I could jump, it feels so strange. I think I've gotten used to it. Unless from a variety. Where does decision wise release from Jinya in so early, making him second erudition lightning? Yeah, that that is a little odd. Like basically Serval was really useful early game. I mean his banner crushed, so I don't think it really <laughs> I don't think it uh ended up mattering too much. But Serval, he basically just has a much stronger version of Serval's kit. A wider AoE, like all inclusive AoE. And obviously the Lightning Lord is a big deal, but similar, I guess, utility to Serval. It's kind of funny that they released him so early. Are you killing all mobs as part of your daily grind? No. I haven't. I lately, just because I haven't had time. But the only farming that I've done basically regularly is in this area. Six? What? 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 How? Wow, wow, nine months. Why well, people happy haven't been well, able to catch a stream live in so long, but hi, oh. MS streamer. I hope you're doing well. Peeper flower. Thank you. Wait, I feel like, did I just see an area that I haven't walked in yet? Am I grissy? I do get every credit that I can get, though, because I'm so broke. I feel like I saw an area on the map where I haven't been. Wait, pause. No, excuse me. Bissy, bissy. Maybe I have been here. I don't know why, that's kind of scary. Where are the... Ah, huh, I wonder where the chests are. Six locked? Or five locked? Where, 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 where? Oh, well, here's one. Cloud pile, good word. Those work here. Colleague says you saved um, a cat in Cloud for Nith Miu Kai. Cloud for is in chaos. Schedule system is a mess. Jetty. The jetty is filled with exceptionally large numbers of freight star skiffs. I simply cannot handle out everything alone. Do you want to help me with these things? Yes. Oh. Oh. Sure. That means I get chests, of course. Ah. Let's stop at this one then. Yes. Oh, I'm so dumb. I found the wrong one. Ah! Uh, hey! Oh. Autoplay feature that makes it so easier to... Oh, yeah, it definitely makes it easier to form mats. Oh, the puzzle respawns every day! Now I get it. Well. Noted. I will come back. Five strail. Every strail counts. Oh! Also that. Looks good. Timetable. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, you can go again? <gasps> What? Oh, I see. Oh, you can only move both at once. Okay. Cool.
Hey. Hi, Ashley. So that's how it works. Will of preservation. Okay. Twelve reward. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> time for sword play. Blade and flight. It's time. It was pretty important to activate her taunt. The first round. How many can you block? Strike with heart. Oh, Mar struck. I'm on guard. Ha! Naughty child. <laughs> to avoid Welcome hits customers. to Yan Ching. <laughs> Did you really think it would be that easy? Sorry, reading in my head. <gasps> I wish I could find a way to make old events replayable. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be cool. I mean, just having them active for the previous one is really cool. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> My strategy for this one is what I like to call Oonga Boonga. Hmm. See, all you had to do was stop. Oh no. You stay. No. Oh. <laughs> of course I messed it up. That's a little. Hi, Gato. What are you doing? You sniffing? Hi, bud. That was. That's pretty fun. I got like 900 J's from the events. Event rewards, the simulated universe. Wait. Dude, they don't. It's not. It's not double yet, right? Oh my gosh, again? No way. I've returned to no content limbo. Dude, time to reactivate one of your old hobbies. <gasps> Very sneaky. But not sneaky enough! Thank you. Give me stuff. Cat's name? The oldest one is Asher, and the little one is Murdoch. Mostly Murdy. What? <laughs> Smooth sailing. What you guys doing in here? <laughs> Petrified. <laughs> As the door to the container opens. Two people stare at you, petrified. Looks like you've just walked in on a couple of lovers trying to have a great time with each other. You don't know them, so based on the conventions of Shun Shou's opera, you decide to name them Ram and Gum. Ooh, who are you? What's the rush? Uh, don't mind me, as you were. You freaked us out. I thought you were family coming to bust us. <gasps> Ever since the Three Suffering Era, our families have been at each other's throats, but this generation, we fell head over heels in love with each other at the academy. Our families kept trying to split us up, all these different schemes, but how can true love be broken from the outside? So that's why we hid out here in this freight star skiff, the SS Butterfly. We wanted to sneak off the Loafu. Well, stranger, I guess it's fate we meet each other here. Take this. They're the last remaining ties we have to our families. If you take these, the two of us will have nothing more to do 
with either of our families. Okay. Just, uh, you know. This'll get a good price. Neither of you drink any strange bottles. Or, uh, you know, lose hope. And, and, and do something reckless, okay? It's all gonna be fine. No gallant sacrifices of, of love and longing. Gato, be careful. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, Ruby, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had an awesome stream. No bottles, no knives. Cool, that was fun. And by fun, I mean I got lots of rewards. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Enough to buy another warp. Well, wow, how many warps did I get today? I think I had like 73 when this stream started. Or 70 something. Now I have 90! Lorcha, you will come home right now. I hope we had a very nice stream. I hope no one dies at the end. <laughs> Enough for the man. Well, enough for someone. I hope it's him. Hopefully. Um, and now that you all are here from Ruby, I'm going to tell you goodnight. And that you should go touch grass or your bed. Because I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna eat a snack and then go to sleep. Um, thank you all for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And, um, yeah, <laughs> it's 10 a.m. I just woke up, woke up. Well, that is unfortunate timing because it's 2 a.m. for me. You know who we're going to raid? We're going to raid Irie. And we're going to say, does she have hay? And none of you go spoil it, okay? I will literally ban you from my chat forever. Just, this is our chat message. Hey. Hey. Uh, say hi to Irie and then be very nice because, you know, we're raiding with, like, a lot of viewers and it's kind of overwhelming, so. <clears throat> say hi to her. Hey. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for, I think, Genshin. I think I'm going to try to finish the TCG event and then... Yeah, let's plan for that, not overpromise. And then we're starting Diablo. Diablo. Diablo will be sponsored, but honestly, I might just end up playing it depending on how I enjoy it. So, Dish plays Genshin? What? <laughs> <laughs> I heard the story quest for this one was really good. Uh, Pana, thank you for the 23 months. Paralysis, thank you for the 23. Spin Tomology. Sorry, I'm so late on this. Thank you for the two months. Agent, thank you for the five months. Shade for the tier one. Mocha Latte for the four months. Uh, Royal Atlantis. Atlantis for the prime sub. T-Bone for the, for the three months. All right, gamers. See you tomorrow. Missed you. Thank you for hanging out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.